<laughs> yeah, we back. You know, um, yeah, my boy Dennis Dougie couldn't couldn't come on, my boy Doug. So yeah, we had to do an impromptu show. But shout out to Dennis Doug when he said he's gonna reschedule. He said uh he had to train some clients at this time. So uh one of his friends, you know, canceled. So uh the, the trainer at the gym canceled, so we had to he had to pick up for him. So shout out to shout out to Dennis Douglas for being willing to do it on last minute. So yes, sir. But yeah, we're gonna keep getting better. We're gonna keep getting better and getting more, more uh, great fighters and warriors on the show for the interviews and start breaking this stuff down, man. Cause I want to hear from the fighters. It ain't always about me. It ain't always about, you know. Sometimes I want to know what the fighters think about these big fights. Do if, if the fighters respect the fighter, then it starts tra- changing my opinions on the fighters. So when the fighter says that Tank Davis is a bad boy, or a fighter says that these dudes can fight, or a fighter says Lomachenko can fight, or a fighter says Devin Haney can fight. When a fighter says Ryan Garcia got power, I sparred him before, I, I start respecting it. Carlos. <laughs> but let's talk about the news of the day. Tyson Fury versus uh, uh, Anthony Joshua almost set for December 3rd. How the hell they get this shit popping before and we get an announcement in, in the UK. And, and shout out to the British boxing. Shout out to British boxing. I, I, I like how they stay relevant. Them, them heavyweights know how to keep themselves in the media, keep their name popping. Because you got some motherfuckers in America. I don't want to get started, but I'm a little disappointed. Anybody that know me know I'm mad right now because we've been talking about a fight for a long time. Since April 17th. <laughs> Where is that? What's up, Issy? What's up, DeVoe? What's up, Carlos Resendez? What's up, Tycho? And I keep telling people it's going to happen. But guess what? Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua showing me they want to make it happen. So shout out to the big dogs. Shout out to Tyson Fury. Shout out to Anthony Joshua, who's coming off a loss. Don't even, hey, he ain't saying, man, that's too short of a window for me to get back in the ring. That's too short for me. That's too short for a training camp. I just was in a grueling training camp for Usyk. He ain't saying none of that. Bro, I don't want to hear nothing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that my boy? Mama's boy came through anyway. Yo, what's good? What's good? Hey, mama's boy, hold on. Let me let me set up, bro. Cause I didn't you told me, hey, you ain't respond to me, so I ain't know you was gonna show your face. Oh motherfucker, I'm not that type. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. But guys, do what you gotta do. Hey, let me set up. Let me get my let me I wanna look at you in the face, champ. Hold on, give me one second. I'm on my phone right now, going on a rant about Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua being done, uh D Doug, and not getting damn not getting damn Crawford and Spence announcement yet. What you think about that? I think it's I think it's corny is bad for boxing, but I also know it has it has a lot more to do with what's going on behind the scenes than the fighters. They both want to fight, so but there's a lot of BS that most casual fans don't understand that goes into making these fights. Like right now, Terence Crawford is I'm but I'm Bob's number one guy. He's not trying to risk that. You know I'm saying like this fight is a fifty fifty risk for both sides. They're not trying to risk it, so they're gonna try to make the pot as crazy as possible to prolong that fight happening. So it's not even Arrow and Summers that's getting it done, that's not getting it done. It's the promoters, bro. It'd be a lot of funny stuff in boxing, man. Hey, Doug. Hey, you know, hey, let me t- talk to me about being um being trained by your mother, bro, and how that how that came about. Cause I I, I read something where you got into an altercation in school and then your yeah. mom kind of your yeah, mom kind of took so. you to the gym yeah, and so said I'm you need to learn. From, I'm, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I was eight years old, I was going to school in Brooklyn, eight years old. I got into a fight with like a ten year old kid, like something small, like over a girl too, which is funny. But um, so he tried to fight me, and he started like tussling. I threw him down. This is my first like fight experience, so I'm thinking it's over. Like I like I won. Ah, he I got up. I, I mean I, I walked away. He got up, put me in a headlock, threw rip, threw me down. He beat me up. So um, and then like my pockets ripped. He took money out my pocket, all that. Like it was bad. So when I get home. I'm crying so I wonder like, oh, I got, I got beat up, I got robbed. like, these dudes picked on me. I mean, yeah, she like, are you soft, bro? Like, we got to get you in the gym, you got to defend yourself. And going on in Brooklyn, like, she was right, I needed that. So, he brought me to the gym and started training with my uncle, who was also a boxer, you know, my cousin was boxing. So, he was part of the family thing. So, she was coming, she started boxing. So, she wasn't a boxer at the time. She started boxing when I started boxing. Um, And I was, I just happened, I, I got good at it. I didn't really love it, but I got good at it. Then I saw, because they used to force me to watch it. I watched um, Roy Jones versus David Telesco at Radio Music City Hall. And that's when Roy Jones came out with Red Man, Method Man. He had the tuxedo suit on. Like, his joint was fire. Like, his dancing, everything. And now the fight, this fight meant a lot to me because David Telesco 
was training in the gym that I was training at, Greasy State Gym. So I saw David, and I thought David was really good. So I'm like, I don't know who this Roy Jones dude is that y'all all hype about, but David about to put hands on him. And then that didn't happen, yo. Like, David got beat up. So I'm like, yo, this boxing game is fire. Like, there's so many levels. I thought this guy was good. He's not even good. Like that, respectfully. I was like, yo, I really want to do this. So I told her I want to, I really want to box. I really want to get into it. And then she just, like, became, like, super mom, bro. Like, she was just making sure I run. We would go home from the gym at night. She'd be like, he wasn't jabbing enough. Let me do jabbing more. So she had me throw jabs at her hand. When this like when I was like 12 years old, but throwing jabs at her hand and all that. So we just kept training in the crib, like on the side. You know, like I had to train him, my uncle was gonna train him. But I would go home with her on the side. And then I just took off from there, bro. Like my boy Doug, you can see me now, champ. Yeah, I can see, I can see, I can see. Respect, bro. Hey, hey, shout out to you for what you do, man. What neighborhood did you grow up in in Brooklyn? Brown. You from Brownsville? Okay, yes, so you know never went. Hey, That's right. Hey. I see I'm where all the smoke never ran, never will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's y'all quote out there. That's what y'all say. Uh, never ran, never will. Now, let me talk, Doug. I appreciate you because I changed the title. So everybody in there, give my man a, a, a like button. And, and he's here for, he's training fighters at the same time. So I thought he wasn't going to be able to do it. So y'all give my man a question. But I got more. I got more. I'm in the gym 3D box. This is my spot. I got a kids class going right now. This is my kid. But I told you I was going to do it. So I'm like, let's yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Doug. I, I'm gonna go out to Vegas and, and come to, and come see you too, champ. I'm, I'm going out there this weekend. For oh, the yeah? Expo. Yeah, yeah, I'm going out there for the expo, man. So I hope to run into you. I'm gonna be there for I'm gonna be at the expo. I'm gonna be at the fight. I'm gonna be here. So we definitely yeah. gonna see each other. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but but okay, now tell me how it is working with Floyd Mayweather, man. I know you're getting them ready for, for exhibitions and things like that. It's fire, bro. It's fire because it's so much, it's so much you can learn, man. Like I learned yeah. so much from because you gotta understand, he he's not he's not money made, he's not he's not that. So there's no war. You feel me? Like back in the days when I sparred Floyd, it was, I'm trying to really get off. You know what I'm trying? I'm trying to make like get my shine on, let everybody see me beat him up, so I could become the man. That's what I was before. Now we're in a different phase. where like my man just making money, doing his thing. You feel me? Like so when we get in the ring, I'm able to slow it down and really work on stuff. I get to learn his mind. You feel me? Like so it's dope, bro. It's dope. And you, hey, and, and Doug, tell me. You've been in the ring with Jamel Charlo, Benavidez. You've been in the ring with some great fighters. T tell me tell me how you stay motivated about wanting to still become a world champion. Because I saw you say that recently. Yes, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be a world champion. I stay motivated, bro, because this is what I like. I love this. Bro. I love boxing, bro. Boxing, I'm going to be a judge. I'm going to be a ref. I'm going to be a promoter. I'm going to be a manager. Like, this is my sport. When Before when I fought them, and there's no excuses. I got beat. I, 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 this is it. I got beat. I was alcoholic, I was partying, I was chasing girls. Like, I wasn't dedicated to the craft. Like, you gotta be to get it to that level, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could do that, you could do that and have some success in the amateurs, have some success early in the pros, and that's what got to me. Like, I was always good. So, like, I didn't realize that I was like, I see y'all doing all this running and all this starving. I'm not doing that, and I'm, then I'm still doing well in training camp, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in camp with Badu Jack, She's like, beating him up. Shout out to Badu. I'm in camp with, um, all these top guys, man, Chad Dawson at the time. Um, but, and I'm doing very well. And so it gave me a false sense of confidence that I don't got to train like them or be dedicated like them. I could go party and come and come fight. But you can't, bro. When the lights come on, yeah. it's a different energy. You feel me? So I had to get humble. You feel me? And I'm a slow learner, so I got to get humble a couple of times. But I'm here now. You feel me? Hey, I, hey Doug, I recently saw... When you um when you work with your mom, you said that when you first started working with her, it used to be some arguing going on here and there, or you would be a little bit more hard headed. But now you said being around great trainers that you started to respect your mom more because they told you she was right. Yeah, yeah, that, that happened. That happened literally, bro. Everybody, I'm Mayweather, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, my other trainer, Jersey Dwight Fleming, yeah. um, Honey Boy, like everybody that get around when she in my corner, they be like, Yo, why you do that? Like she she right, You're like. Well, I'll be doing something and they'll be like, yup, that's exactly it. So it made me start, give me one more, give me one more. It made me start really respecting her, her boxing knowledge. Because you gotta understand, it wasn't even that I didn't respect it. Yeah, do one more. I said to her, but do one more. It wasn't that I respected, but we started at the same time. So I'm like, you know what I know. But nah, she 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 really studied it, bro. Like, so she understands it on a different level. And because she's never a boxer before, which is an interesting concept. Because at first I used to think, if you never really boxed before, 
you can't coach it. That's how I used to feel. So I kind of used to halfway listen, halfway not. Like, you don't know. But honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. Because she hasn't boxed, she focuses more on the technique because she doesn't under, she doesn't get that stuff. But you guys just know how to use that. And I'm saying, like, so we really drill, drill, drill my form, my technique, where my weight should be. Stuff yeah. that people that have been boxing don't really focus on because they just want to beat somebody up. They right. know how I feel. She don't know how that feels, so she focuses on other things. So I had to put it all together myself, but it's been great, bro. I'm, hey, hey, Doug, I'm proud of you for putting your mom in the forefront and actually, you know what, sticking to that nickname because a lot of people would, would take that like, oh, man, and this and this type of game, you know, a macho type of environment. How, can you tell me the, the, the origin behind being called Mama's Boy? Yeah, so like I said, she was training me. She was, um, she was training me like at home, whatever. But everybody yeah. you see her in the gym recording my sparring. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, drop your hands. I'm dropping your hands. So, so they started calling me Mama's Boy in the gym in Gleason as a joke. Like everybody's making fun of me calling me Mama's Boy. Yeah. So, um, we went to the regionals and I thought it would be funny to put Mama's Boy on my shorts, like to own the joke. So I put on my shorts. We go out there and I'm fighting, and the crowd who doesn't know me start chanting Mama's Boy, Mama's Boy, which was fire. And I won the fight. And then reporters came up to me after the fight, told me like, how long has your mom been training you? And um, I kind of just started making up stuff. Like, oh yeah, you been training me before? Yeah. Like, you know, like, I just ran with it and it just became a thing of its own, man. So like, it was given to me, bro. Mama's boy was given to me, bro. Hey, hey, Doug, you fought you fought a guy that's on, that's on this undercard coming up this weekend in Ammo Williams. What can, what can you tell me about what makes Ammo Williams a good fighter? Um. His his heart. Like, Ammo really believes in himself. He has a lot of confidence, and that makes a difference. Like people's confidence and self belief really can take you to the next level. So um, I definitely think he has that. I would love, and I'm saying this on every interview I get. I would love to fight Ammo Williams again because he got a shell of me, and I still. I mean, I lost 20 pounds in in, in a week. Took the fight in a week's notice. I just came home from. Jail. I was in jail for a month. I don't really talk about it too much, but I was in jail for a month. Um. But something I did a couple a couple of years ago that caught up to me. So okay. I was in jail for a month. I already had my business, so I needed money. You know what I'm saying I need to pay my rent. So I had to put my put it on my back. I'm saying like I, I'm the reason I was in jail. I'm the reason the rent is back. So if I'm gonna bet on anybody, I'm bet on myself. So okay. I took that fight, and I came home short. But I what I think is that if I was in two weeks, two more weeks, I would win that fight easy. And that's no respect to him because I think he's a good fighter. But I just know I'm a great fighter. So um, I would let her run it back, but again, I know they're gonna they're gonna make you have to earn it. You know how boxing do, like they, like everybody don't know my work. So I'm gonna be whoever up until I get him. I'm gonna be the first professional boxer, but all of, I'm gonna be everybody. If they still in the sport, I'm gonna beat them. Jamel Charlo, Benavidez, Andy Durant. If he don't quit after this weekend, um, or next week, yeah, this weekend, whatever. Um, Ammo Williams, I'm beating so, everybody. Hold on, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You want Jamel Charlo still? Yes, yes. <laughs> I want you to know hey, hey, back. Bro, but look how big you are now, though, champion. Hey, y'all on. Y'all on. Mean? Different... I'm, what you mean? I'm 160. Hold up. I'm, I'm one. Let me show you so up. <laughs> I'm 160 right now. What you mean? Hey, what hey, you he's still 54, champ. You a big boy, man. Look at it. He's going to. He'll he kind of 160 for that smoke. And again, like, <laughs> and make sure I want everybody to know this. Like, listen, come on the turf, guys, on the turf. I want everybody to understand. Like, when I call fighters out, it's because I respect you. Like, I'm not calling nobody that, that's out that's trash. Like, a lot of people do like, oh, it's kind of bum. I want to fight him. Nah, not even. Like, I think Tolo is great. So I want to yeah. fight you. I think Benavidez is, Benavidez is a coach. Like, that's, that's the nicest person I've been in the ring with, in my opinion. I, was I want ask that you back. That. I want what, that what, back. What, what makes him the nicest person you've been in the ring with? Because Energy, bro. Like, that's why I talk about energy. Like, Benavidez's confidence and energy is so rare, bro. Like, you feel like you in his ring. Like, that was the first time I got in the ring with somebody. And I'm like, damn, like, I'm the B-side. I never I never, I never, never felt like that. You know, like, I could be on the B-side, but this is my ring. This is my house. But in that fight, it just felt like everything was his, bro. Like, that's a strong, men you feel me? Like, that's different. The Later presence. On, hey, hey, Doug, so talk, So the presence, you could feel like, all right, he, he expects yeah. to beat me. Like, yeah, he knows even, even, Bro, even at the, the face-off, I tell you this all the time. I want 25 sit-ups. I tell you this all the time, bro. At, at, at face-offs, I be smiling. Chilling, whatever. So I'm in his face smiling. He looking at me like this, like, and everybody does that. Like, it's regular. But for some reason, when he did it, bro, he made me stop smiling and get serious, too. Like, what you looking at? So now I'm serious. And, like, when it was over, 
I was like, oh, dip. He just made me do what he wanted me to do. Like, damn. Like, I lost already. That's that's 10 9. Round one. Round one is his. You feel me? Like, that's how I be looking at it. Because this is war, bro. It's the art of war. So everything matters. If you, if you, you get what I'm saying? So. So like look, said, look, hey, Doug, because I'm, 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 you know, I'm, people like we on the internet be like, man, that stare down don't matter, bro. Like, uh, uh, uh we'll, we, you know, we get on here, man, and we start talking, and we be like, man, the face off, man, the face off don't win fights, but like, why? So why does, why does every battle? Leg raise, twenty five leg raises. Say it. Why, why does every battle matter, big bro? Every battle matters because again, like if you if you playing boxing, if you boxing, I'm playing boxing. If you boxing the way I'm boxing, level man, where's this is chess, bro, not checkers. So yeah. everything matters, bro. Like energy, like because you understand, like who gets the mental edge coming in. So like people, people sleep on this type of stuff. But this means this is big. You look at somebody fighting Canelo. They come out, they gotta walk out real quick. You remember the crowd not really booing them or not really paying them, showing them no love. Then they have to sit in the ring and watch a video of Canelo's highlights. Then watch a mariachi band. Then watch Canelo come out and everybody go crazy. You telling me? As any athlete, you telling me that's not gonna bother your nerves, like you feel me? Like that's why you gotta think about how these big sports use um home field advantage. You feel me? Like that's energy. You get what I'm saying? Like they know they do better at home because of that energy. So energy is very real, but it's not spoken about enough. And I feel like that's what that's the big difference in like a lot of fighters. It don't even be their skill, bro. It be their energy. Benavides is being a lot of people because he just got bigger energy than them, bro. Like they don't even swallow you. You get what I'm saying? Of course, skill does matter, but you get what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Hey, so push up 25. Hey, Doug, are you surprised that the fighters that you fought are considered some of the best guys in the sport? Like Jamel Charlo became undisputed, and you were one of the biggest wins on his resume at the time. You get what nah, I mean? Bro, like, like, like real talk, bro. I became unwillingly. I didn't realize that's what it was, but I was like a gatekeeper, bro. So like, if you if you made it past me, you was it. Like you look at it, um, George Groves. Yep. David, David Benavidez, Jamel yep. Charlo, Andy yep. Guerrero, you feel me? Like, and then I also stopped people that they thought was going to be it. Like, for example, Vaughn Alexander. Yeah, you stopped him. He was supposed to be big, but then when he lost to me, he kind of fell off. Same thing with Stephen Martinez, undefeated kid. Shout out to Stephen. He's a great fighter from New York. He was supposed to be big too, but he yep. lost to me. So, so I saw that, like, I was a gatekeeper, but that's not the energy I'm on no more. Like, I'm, I was still until to come to the gate, but nobody getting in no more. Like I'm taking over, so it's been it's been a, a lit experience. Like, cause everybody talks about the champions and the and the um the number one contenders. Like you always follow those stories, but they don't really highlight the gatekeepers. You know, like I'm a gatekeeper and I had an interest in that. You feel me? Like, and I'm now you get to watch that train from a gatekeeper to a champion. Cause that's Bro, it, my it, story's gonna be lit. Hey, you know what, Doug? If it wasn't for guys like like, and that's no offense, because I know you want to be a, I know you're gonna be a champion, and that's what you say. And this is like my man, Emmanuel Aline, and, and guys like, bro, when I go to the gym, if it wasn't for you and, and uh, Aline's and guys like you, bro, the fighters wouldn't be as great because you guys pushed them to that extra level, that brink. And like you said, at the time that you fought them, you were phone breaking up. Oh. Yeah, my phone breaking up or yours? Hold on, Doug is Doug doing his thing. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me in the chat? Just probably, just type yes. Yeah, man, I want to know what he thinks about uh, that pop punch of power. Hey, Doug, no, you can hear me again now? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I said if it wasn't for guys like you paving the way for 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 uh, Benavidez, giving him that first test, Jamel Charlo, giving him that first test, bro, if they didn't pass that test, they wouldn't be champion. And that's the that's thing. Right. You've been in the ring with world champion, so you know what it takes to be that. And like you said, you weren't all the way in at the, at the time. You weren't all the way in. You were, you were doing things that may have been taken away from a boxer's lifestyle. Exactly, exactly. And it really, is, it really is, it really is lifestyle. Cause, like, for example, let me tell you, like, you hear, the, you hear the saying, you can't play boxing all the time. And I used, I used to grow up saying that, all right, guys, gloves on, gloves on. I used to grow up saying, like, I do play boxing. Like, I'm playing boxing. Like, this is fun to me, and it's still fun to me. But I realized that term means something different in the sense that you can't play this. This is not something you can shut off. Like, you can't come into the gym for an hour and go home. Like, nah, you playing? Like, this is a lifestyle. Boxing yeah. is a lifestyle. So you could be having fun. You can play while you're training, but you can't play with it in the sense of your life. Like, you right. can't be out drinking, partying up on that, and then you will come in and beat somebody. You're not. Even all the talent, you feel me? Like, so I had to learn that the hard way, but it was worth it, bro. You feel me? Like, my journey was so lit to me, man. The ups and downs. And with my skill level, I feel like 
Because I think I'm one of the best right now, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, I can run, I'm smart, Caleb playing tomorrow. Like, this, the caliber. Oh, man. Hey, tell my boy Brad. I said, what's up, man? I'm a, I'm a big fan of Brad. Oh, you know, bet. I'm I mean, family out there in Philly, man. Big, so I, I, ran by, I ran by the gym he used to be at back in the day when Nas was there. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. tell Brad, I said, what's up, man? But yeah, tell me how that goes, too. I'm going to hit you up about that. I got you. But yeah, yeah. like I said, like, I, I'm, I have the skill, bro. I'm one of the best in the world already. But yeah. because of my resume and because of my record, I'm not in the position that these top guys are in. So you, I'm I'm accessible. You feel me? Like, you can pull my gym and spar me right now. You feel me? Like, I, I love that my career put me in that position. Because, like, when Floyd was training, you can't. Uh, you're breaking up again, but man, he's so interesting. You can't just pull him a spar Caleb. You can't just pull him a spar these nice guys. But I'm me, here I am, with the same same skill level, if not better, in my opinion. And you can come see it. You can come right now. You get what I'm saying? Like, so I love God. God is lit, bro. Like, I love how he how he maneuvered my career, bro. It's gone. Yeah. Oh, and, you got, guys, let's go. and you got them two beautiful little girls, too, man. You got two beautiful little Thank queens. you, bro. I appreciate yeah, and it. I, and you're doing great at fatherhood, too, man. But hey, hey, hey. Hey, Dougs, who hit harder out of, out of, out of George Groves and David Benavidez? Uh, and Jamel Charlo. Who was the hardest puncher out of them three? Charlo was the hardest puncher out of those three. I don't really think, when I put him in there, I don't really think that Benavidez was a big puncher. His punches has a lot of force because of his size. He's a lot okay. bigger than you, so it's going to knock you around, and it looks bad. But as far as it hurting, I don't really think Benavidez hurt. But he just has, like I said, he has a lot of size, and he comes, he throws a lot. So it's a lot on you, feel me? But you don't have that really. Charlo hit me with a one shot. Boom! I walked into the right hand, bro. Yeah. Like, that shit was crazy, you feel me? So I think Charlo hits the hardest. Same thing with George Groves. I don't think George Groves had that power that was anything special. I was just exhausted, bro. You feel me? Like, so that's that. Hey, now, now, when you talk about, oh, my man wants to know about Ishay Smith. Are you are you cool with Ishay Smith, dog? Yeah, shout out to Ishay. Ishay, my guy, yeah. Because I. Because y'all come out the same gym, TNT, but remember y'all on the contender. Yeah. Yeah. So my boy, remember that. And so in the chat, they asked me, how are you back good with Ishay Smith? We, am I back with him? You're like good, like being cool with Ishay Smith. Yeah, we was always cool. We, we, were, on, we were on the contender two different seasons. Like, yeah. Yeah, Ishay never had no type of issue at all. He sparred yeah. a couple times or once, I think. Like, Ishay's great, bro. Like, there was never no, no energy with that. Hey, would you be would you be interested in a Saunders fight? Would you be interested in Billy Joe? Of course. Shout out to Billy. I love Billy too as a fighter. But yeah, I'll be Billy up. Because I see, man, you always training and you always look saying that you're ready for an opponent. What's some guys you want, man? Talk talk to me. Talk to me. I want, like I said, I'm going to be the first fighter to beat. Like I would not know. I'm going to beat everybody that beat me. So I want Emma Williams, Jamel Charlo, David Benavidez, Anthony Durrell. George Gross, bring your ass out of retirement. I want you too. Like I want all of them. Then um, after that, man, I just want whoever is. Whoever's the best right now, I can't call out the best because nobody knows I'm the best. But I want Canelo. I want um, Trip. I want everybody, bro. I'm that guy that wants all the smoke, bro. Like, there's nobody I don't want to fight. I really want to fight Errol, bro. I want to fight Errol too, bro. Like, you want to fight? <laughs> Why are you trying to take Buzz fight, bro? The way? Nah, nah. nah. I, I'm talking about later on when Errol moves up with us. Nah, I think Errol is nice, bro. And like, we, like we have we have a cool, we're cool. So I see him all the time. But we always talk crazy, like, bro. I'm gonna beat your people, like, yo. I'm gonna stop you. If we spar, I'ma stop you. I like nah, he now nah, this is how you say it. Hey Doug, this is how you say it. If we spar, I'ma stop you. I'ma stop you. Nah, he, nah, nah, he, be, mad, he be mad comedy. Like you don't even look at him. I'll stop you. Like, like I'ma stop hey Dennis. You know I'm gonna stop you. That's a you fact, dick, bro. So, so hey. I would let him I would let him fight every too, bro. Like I just wanna box everybody, bro. Everybody that's good, I wanna fight him. Shakur Stevens is bring your ass up here. Now I'm playing. That's not <laughs> <laughs> hey Johnny Beck, bro. Look, Johnny Beck can't get a fight, boo boo Andre. Man, I'll look. fight well. I'll fight well. Yo, oh, you know who I really want to? I don't even want to fight him. I ain't gonna lie to you. I want to spar him. <laughs> boots, bro. I want to spar boots, bro. Like, man, go to Philly. It's I'm, easy. I, I need to. I need to. All bro. you gotta do is call Uncle Bozy. Hey, I know you That's can get it. That's a fact. Hey, I'm look, bad. you right down there, but you in Vegas now, so it's different. But if you was back in Brooklyn, you know it's a yeah. That's nothing. That's nothing to set up. Yeah, I already know. Hey, and you already sparred my young boy out there. I really like Truck Simpson. How was that? I oh, see you. Yeah. 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 That's my guy. Shout out to Chuck. Um, now he cold, bro. And this was a couple. This was like a year or two ago. So I'm sure he's even better now. Um, yeah, man. I like I like that work a lot. I, the first he sparred three times. The first time he sparred, I would say he got off on me. Like I was very surprised. I didn't know who he was. They just told me, "Oh, you coming to the gym? You sparring some kid named Chuck." 
I'm like, okay, whatever. Truck. So I get, I get to the gym. First round was kind of even. After he turned up, and like, I really feel like, I was like, damn, if this was a fight, I would have lost. That's crazy. Like, who is this young boy? Like, that's crazy. So I did my research, find out, okay, he got a nice little background. So we sparred again the second time. Uh, second time, still fighting work. Like, I feel like that fight would have, it would have been a draw. It would have been a draw, or I would have edged it, but the sparring was that good. You know, like, so it's always been that little. And then our third sparring session, that's the one that's on, on online that everybody see on YouTube. So we had, we had, we had some, some boys, bro. Shout out to them, man. Hey, and, and, and this is my thing. So now, you know, you're transitioning. You know, you're working with everybody. You're doing your own thing. What, what is, would you, would you be assistant coach for anybody? Would you, would you start taking that step into training? One hundred percent. Like I said, I got my my gym right here. I'm yeah. Start, I got some young fighters. I have amateur. I have a little amateur team already, and we are undefeated, bro. My one of my girls just won the national golden glove, so that's a big deal. Like I had the only champion in Vegas, female yeah. fighter. Um, so that was dope. Um, so yeah, I would love to. As I keep getting more established with the training, and um, I get around more fighters. I'm also a physical therapist, so I stretch a lot of fighters and um, before they fight, Ian Green, some other guys. Um, so yeah, bro, I definitely want to be. I want to be a trainer for at the top level, but it's gonna happen when it's time. You feel me? Hey, my man says, would you fight? And you already said this. You already said you free smoke. You'll fight Beck the bully. But you said it ain't nobody you don't want to fight. So I'm gonna answer it for you. Of course, you'll fight Beck the bully. Wait, Beck, Beck is who's uh, he great. knocked out? He, uh, Gabe Rosado knocked him out. He was oh yeah, he was yeah. knocking out of the year. He was giving funny. Gabe, he was, was giving funny. Gabe the work, and um, you know, and then he ran into that shot. Gabe oh. pinned him. I feel like I feel like I feel like he's a, of course. I feel like he's probably a lot better since the knockout. Since now, because um, I got over him a while ago, and I, I when he was like two and zero or something. I was at right. one of the fights. Yeah, yeah. Yep, he yep. looked really good, but he looked like he was getting too comfortable. Like he came from another from over where there, over there, and yep. now he's getting injured. Like they treat him so well over here, he like he was getting comfortable. So I feel like that loss got him back hungry. So I, I think he's gonna be good. But yeah, I'll fight him ASAP. Let's get it. I would let him fight. Hey, let me get some predictions out of you, man. Uh, okay. Who you got out of Spence and Bud? Spence. Why? In the good one, man. In the good one. I just don't feel I feel like we haven't seen the best Spence, bro. Spence does the bare minimum and beats the mess up. Like he just walks you down, hands up, keeps good range, and gets rid of people. Like so and then at one point I was like, that's all he could do. But then he fought Mikey and he had his jab going. And I'm like, oh, he got mad shit he could do. He just don't do it. He don't have to do it. So that makes him scary. You get what I'm saying? Cause I don't know what you could do. Whereas Bud, Bud is equally as scary, but we've kind of seen what he could do because like he come out, which this led to. He comes out right-handed. He plays with you. And then when he's ready for the fight to be over, he switches to his real good stance. So he's dangerous, too. But you got to pick somebody I would pick Spence. I would pick Spence. Hey, man, don't do this to my boy Berlanga, dog. They they trying yeah. to entice you. To, they trying to entice you to beat up my boy Berlanga, man, from Brooklyn. They trying to get you to that fight. Yo, you know what's funny about Berlanga? So before anybody knew who he was, when he yeah. was like 8-0, and 8-0, and 8 knockouts, whatever. I didn't know who he was either, but I was on this little online um chat and they were talking about, oh, would you fight Berlinga? I was like, I don't know who this is. I guess he got offended by that. And then um <laughs> someone started talking crazy. So I'm like, nah, bro, you got it. Then I started watching him. And um he was getting the knockouts, getting knockouts. So we're back on the on the site, I was like, Yeah, I'll fight him. He came on like, Oh, you trying to ride the wave, you trying to get this clout now. Ah, uh, so Long story short, yes, I'll fight Berlinga. Hey, don't, 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 don't do my boy like that, man. Like you know, they already call, hey, 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 Doug, they already calling the man a hype job, Doug. If you, if you, I school, mean, listen, I don't think he's a hype job. I don't think he's a hype job, but I think they put like his record put a lot of pressure on him. So now that they see he human, yeah, people over. You feel me? Like he's still doing his thing, bro. But like, it's just he had a he he put the bar way up. So yeah. that's all that was. Hey, that's Brooklyn on Brooklyn crime, though. Yeah, that's facts. Like you know what I'm saying, like, plus I'm one, I'm one sixty, so I don't even. I want. I'm not trying to look at. <laughs> hey, bro, it's a lot of sixties. Would you look? It's whatever. Lonnie Law, we're gonna have a belt. It's gonna be some vacant belts come up too. Yeah, hey, hey, Doug, you told me you had thirty. I'm gonna be on for about two hours, man. When you get done, come back on. I bet say less, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, just hit the link. As soon as you, as soon as you get done, hit the link. I'm gonna be talking to the chat. We're about to have a regular show, and um, you told me thirty, so. But I, I knew that's, you. That's love, bro. I, I like, you. I showed you because um the questions you asked on fire. Your energy is dope. Like this is I, it, bro. I'm I'm glad I'm glad I'm with you, bro. Like on some real shit. Like I, I you know, I'm sorry about cussing and stuff, but 
you my man, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm a big fan, love. bro. I'm, I'm a big fan, and I can't wait to meet you this weekend. But, but yeah, come right back on. Come right back. I know you got to finish your class. You told me only give you 30 minutes. You was like, man, how long it's going to be. And I appreciate you for, for doing that. So just come right back on. That link is going to be up. And I, I want you back on, bro. Come right back on. Yeah, I'm about to, hey, man, we about to uh, hop on the show. I'm about to drop the link. My boy Doug going to come on after he get done. He told me just 30 minutes, but I think he want to come back on. So, yeah, shout out to my man, uh, Denny Doug, man, the, the boss. You know, one of the best. In the, uh, you know, one of the best. He called himself a gatekeeper. Man, look, that dude could fight. I'm a big fan of my boy, uh, Dan. And, yeah, bro, mama's boy is my boy. You get me? Because mama's boy could fight. So, yeah, I'm, I'll shout out to him, and we're going to get it like that. But, yeah, 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 man. Talk. Let's break. Let's talk about this Fury fight, man. Let's break this stuff down. And give me one second. I'm about to, I'm about to uh, change it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's my boy, man. That's my boy. He's going to come right back on, is he? Don't think he's not coming back on. He just told me he had a lot to do. So we were we were uh, communicating earlier today, and I didn't think he was going to be able to do the show uh, because of the fact that he was teaching a class for his friend. His friend pulled out last minute uh, of the class, so he didn't he didn't think he was going to be able to do it. And he was like, man, all I got is 30 minutes. So I was like, all right, I only got questions for 30. But I got way more because his energy is crazy. So because of that, and uh, because we connect, I already knew he was going to rock. Like, like his, he reminded me of my boy, Aline. We going to rock, though. But, yeah, give me one second, champs. Yo, Sean, what's up, bro? Hey, YB, what's up? Great interview, man. That's Great energy. Brother. That's my brother, man. That's my man. My man, Denny Doug. You know what time it is. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, talk to me. Yeah, great energy, man. I was enjoying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He going to come right back. He going to come right back, champ. That's my man. Uh, He doing a show, but, yeah, he going to come right What you think about this, uh, this Tyson Fury? I, I made a video a little bit earlier, a little disappointed. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little disappointed, bro. I'm going to be yeah, honest. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed okay. only because only because it, it, for me, if 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 we can get a guy that just got just just not just fought, but just took a loss in August and we getting it, uh, uh, you know, come on, man. They put it all out in the public. He said, you know what? You can talk to 258 management and, and that's yeah. how we're going to do it, bro. And, and, and yeah. talk to my team. And, bro, they already agreeing, man. He ain't hey, not Zay. AJ going to stay in the mix. That's a bad boy. Uh, But, yeah, man, shout out to my man, Dennis Douglas, man. That's my man's. Yeah, Dennis was quality. Hey, listen, I, I've said it. Be I've said it before on a few panels. But English, it, like over in the UK, man, we take care of our business. If there's if there's beef or there's a problem or there's business, we take care of it nice and quick. So facts, facts. Like, it, it is. It is what it is. Right. Facts, so, like like in know. that movie Legend, like in that movie Legend, I came yeah. for a fucking fucking shootout. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's I'll come here. For so basically, fucking shoot at. <laughs> so basically, what y'all trying to tell me is that we get an AJ and motherfucking Fury before yeah. we get Crawford and Spence. That's what you're trying to tell me. That's uh, what yeah. we're telling you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Let's be honest. Let's be honest. With yeah. this type of with this type of scope, the way they've done business, the way the management company said we accept, the way they said for the third. Frank Warren then says contracts on the way. Yeah. If these boys want to take notice and they get it in for November the 19th, man, imagine November the 19th, Bud versus Bud versus Spence, and then December the 3rd, we get Joshua versus Fury. Come on now. Has this year been crazy or what? Has this year oh, been man. crazy or what? Come on now. Oh, man. But see, you got to understand, it ain't hard to make a fight with AJ. No, because the one thing you do know about fighting AJ is you're gonna get paid. <laughs> Obviously, you're gonna get paid, Obviously. and you're gonna get paid handsomely. Probably Obviously. more than you ever got paid in your life. Yeah. Look, it's gonna be me, Fury, and us two. <laughs> We're gonna duke it out for that WBC <laughs> title, and it, I'm gonna knock Fury out with a one-two. That's my boy from the Baltimore accident because I'm getting tired of America. This is the thing over Sheldon. I, look, shout out to Zerto and shout out to Bivol. Shout out to yeah. Bivol. Yeah, let's go. Fighters, it's these foreign born, these foreign born fighters putting pressure on us Americans, Uncle Sheldon. I'm gonna be honest with you. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. But what it is, what it is, is they getting it in. Fuck the bullshit. We yep. getting it in. Yep. You got a problem with me? You want this belt? Come get it. Yep. I mean, look I, at what, what Bivol say. What did he say to Canelo build up? I'm confident in my skills. Yep. 
Well, I look at Connor Ben versus Eubank. Connor sends over an offer. Eubank sends a counter offer. And then they're like, fine, let's do it. Contract signed, fights on the 8th. It's like that. Yeah. And he, and he was asking for Ugas and friend. Furman and it weren't happening. And then he gets Eubank Jr. in the ring. That's how it works. Man, hey, hey, And hey, the hey, bottom line hey. to all that is, these motherfuckers want to fight each other. They yeah. want to fight each other. Well, they just want to have a table. They're right? taking their egos out of it. Hey, they just want to have a fight. Hey, if they don't like this fight, bro, because I know people are going to be tripping about Fury and Joshua. Hey, I don't give a fuck. It's a good ass fight, bro. Of course it's it a is. good ass fight. If they they're don't only, like it, shit. Yeah, like the they only, they're only tripping the OD. They're only tripping OD because Wilder's fighting Elania. So it's yeah, going to over, overshadow it. I'll watch it, but it's going to overshadow it. And then we start getting into No, no, no. I ain't talking about Wilder Elania. I'm going to watch that regardless. I'm watching AJ Fury. Obviously. I'm paying for it. Who would have? Well, yeah. Hell yeah. Worth pay per view by. Worth pay per view by if they put it. I wouldn't it's give a fuck if they fought on the moon. I'm paying for it. I'll just get a, <laughs> I'll get I'll get a telescope if they're fighting on the moon, shall we? I'll get a yeah. telescope. <laughs> I'm watching it. Look, Bro, that's, what, that's what pisses me off, man. Like I I'm gonna be honest. It is it's it's really kind of it really kind of bothers me because it's like you know, we, for real, for real, AJ and, and, and Fury is a is a is a mega fight in in, in um, Britain. And I was asking Sean, I said, how big is this fight? Even though Usyk has the other belt, and you told me that Massive. it's still one of the biggest fights in British boxing history. Yep. Massive. Massive. Huge. Huge. Yeah, what were they gonna have it over there in Wales, right? You know, what's yeah, that? In Cardiff. Yeah, yeah. Cardiff. Oh, Cardiff. Yeah. That's sixty-two thousand, uh, Sean. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> That's no, sixty-two thousand. It got, it got, it got packed. It got packed Saturday when, uh, when WWE went over there. Yep. Oh yeah, hell yeah, that shit was sold out. Mm-hmm. Man, let's go, bro. These are the 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 year's gonna end up badass, bro. With Fury versus Joshua, <laughs> let's go, baby, let's yeah. go. Hey, ta is Tank still got her announce a fight yet? Right. Tank's got to announce the fight yet. No, I don't Tank, know, man. Can't, Tank can't say nothing unless his daddy say he can. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, he's oh, oh, his oh, uncle. Oh, take spicy. A shot, bro, bro. He's very spicy. <laughs> yeah, he can't say nothing until daddy say it's okay. The king of Compton's getting spicy. What I'm serious. Mean, <laughs> if Mayweather say ain't no fight, it ain't no fight. Is Benavidez announcing a fight soon? November, supposedly. I'm telling Somebody, you, we're getting stacked. It won't be we're nobody you want to see. <laughs> I said this the other day. Everyone wants to talk about Morel, 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 Morel. Ain't shit. At least he's fighting the number one contender in the division. Ados. Hey, he fighting who? I give this to Morel. I can't take nothing. Morel fighting whoever the fuck they put in front of him. Yep. Number one in the division, Ados. Mandatory. Yeah. Not fucking it? around. Not fucking around. Morel is on my page. Put his motherfucking ass in there. Yeah, I hope being I'm, funny and I think Loma's Loma's coming back from a break and being at war and he's fighting an up and coming in Ortiz. Hey. Right. No one can say shit about that. That's a fucking heard, good fight. That's a great fight. My boy Douglas said about Benavidez, he got a different type of energy. He said that yeah. motherfucker know he's the man. Confidence yeah. through the roof. He feel like it's his ring. Yeah, yeah. Hey, David B. Oh, David B. Got got. He, I, hey. I can imagine though being in a ring with a few big boys myself. When you're in there, when they when, when they everything feels they fuck it. They're, they're really imposing when they're a lot taller than you, man. Man, we're forgetting. We're forgetting this. We're, we're forgetting this week. Fire, bro. Chakur Stevenson versus Ravis Constancion, bro. Yeah, that's, that's, like, yeah. That's, 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 that's not next week. It's not next week. It's two weeks from now. It's two weeks. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm tripping. Ten days. That's facts. Yeah, ten but, days. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's still no, kind I'll of. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this about Benavidez. I'll tell you this about Benavidez, though. What's you up? have to beat him. You got to beat him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You for have sure. to beat him. Shakur gonna put on the show. gonna put on the show. Keyshawn gonna put on the show. You yeah, know who I like forward. on this card, though? Yeah. I, like, I like Mark Castro, man. I like Diego Pacheco, and I like yeah. Emma Williams. I like Mark, and we know. Mark Castro's like a Mexican Elon Musk. Yeah, and we You and know we who know. I'm waiting to see, though? 
On the who? Canelo undercard, you know who I really want to see? Little Go Bam. 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 I want to see Bam, of course. I want to yeah. see Ammo Williams. That's what uh -huh. I said. Ammo. Ammo. Uh -huh. Ammo coming back. Yo, Ricardo, Akhmedov's going to be a fight. I'll tell you that. Hey, my man Jay says I'm hearing that Thurman might take that that uh that eleven nineteen spot. No, he can't. I, I thought it was locked in. Yeah. I thought it was locked in for hey, Spence. That was announced. That was announced this morning on the Boxing Voice. They yeah, Spence put out a tweet, I guess, or he put out a statement saying he's fighting November nineteenth with or said. without. Where, where is yeah. that statement though? Where is his tweet? I went. I was on his Twitter today. I didn't see it. You didn't see it. So you think uh, Ness is making that shit up? Well, Ness and Errol Spence don't got a relationship no more because uh he been talking shit. So Errol Spence yeah. say, "Man, you ain't coming to my camp. I ain't let. Hey, don't talk to that motherfucker." So Errol Spence, oh, wow. don't, I ain't talking to that motherfucker. And Bud Crawford, don't talk to Bud Crawford, don't let me talk ask to you this because he used to call him. He's always this guy. yeah. Talk to me. Why is Errol so fucking sensitive, bro? Well, oh, Bud Crawford didn't yourself. talk to you first. Bud Crawford never let him in his camp. Right. So but I think I think Bud might be more sensitive than Errol Spence, to be honest. I think both of them motherfuckers are sensitive. Like, like, look, you got to think about it. Bud Crawford just dropped a tweet yesterday saying, "I think I, sometimes I got to take a deep breath and know who I am." I don't. I, well, who says that? Say what? Well, you broke up a little bit. Bud, Bud Crawford dropped a tweet and said, "Sometimes I need to take a deep breath and, and, and remember who I am." I said, "What does that mean?" It means you got to put some candles on and run the bar. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, bro, that's some sensitive shit, bro. Them type of tweets coming out. On that's the, the only time that Spence yeah, gets sensitive when he's around nah, the bar. Yeah, you know, Bud, <laughs> Bud is my favorite fighter, but that's some sensitive ass shit right there, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that was his recent tweet. I swear, I'm out. I was trying to screenshot it yesterday, and I was like, man, but Spence, I don't, I didn't see that from him. But he don't, he don't let Ness back in there because Ness said him and Mikey would only do fifty k, fifty thousand pay per view. And he said, hey, man, I will let oh, you wow. in my camp. I let you in my camp, and you thought I was only gonna do fifty k. Oh, um, cause he let he let Ness come to Dallas and come to camp, but ain't but ain't never let Boxing Voice come to camp, cause they they you know, cause Ness always criticized Bud's resume, so Bud won't even come on the Boxing Voice to talk. Like that's why Bernie was like, I'm trying to get him to talk, but I don't think Bud would ever talk to you. Yeah, uh, Ness talks fair shit though. Yeah, he does. All right, he's got a good platform. Don't get me wrong, and they're doing all right. Well, you're not, and I, and I, and I'm not I'm not giving him a pass. Don't take it the wrong way. Yeah. I'm not getting him pass. But motherfuckers been shitting on Bud for a minute. No, who? No one has. Shit, I ain't even, I ain't even mentioned those huh? two guys for a while. No one's been shitting on Bud, man. Yeah, yeah. Since, since yesterday. Since, since yesterday, when I saw that shit on my Facebook, will fucking ever say something? Remember why I posted in, in the comments yesterday? Oh, on Boxing yeah, War. That shit ain't real, though. I couldn't find yeah. it. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it either. It was yeah, in Boxing War, yeah. Yeah, that shit ain't real, bro. Somebody made some fake ass tweets. That shit ain't real. Yeah. Yeah, and that's gonna, you know, it ain't, it wouldn't be the first time Ness made some shit up. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what happened, though. But Bud ain't never talked to, uh, you know, but Bernie was on there recently, said, I'm trying to talk to him. I want him to do more <laughs> of fan engagement, but I, I don't think I will because what you said before, I don't know. Bud Crawford, he kind of, he kind of forgives different. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. That's what he said. <laughs> He said, I can't tell that grown man how to handle his. Uh, I can't tell that. I can't tell him that the grown fella. You know, Bernie, told, you know that, that fella? And that other grown fella. I can't tell him how to do his stuff. Uh, I just know Bud going to beat the stuffing out, out, of, out of that turkey, Spence. I know Bud going to beat the turkey out that fella. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> Who says beat the turkey out of someone? Yeah, he uh, said we going to beat the stuffing what out does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> we gonna make stuffing out there, fella. Oh, yeah, next. Uh, we're gonna Nessa, make uh, yeah, Ness. Uh, Ness come with some good information every now and then, but Ness makes some shit up too, now. He do. I, I believe. I believe though, Ness said that this came from a source over at Showtime. That's what's up, man. Back in the box and say he actually came. Uh, over, over, over to the crib when he was over there overseas across the pond. Batman boxing. But look, let me tell y'all something. We need Batman's got to get on it sometime, man. America to keep up with the UK this year. We need Tank versus uh, we need Tank versus Ryan. We need Spence versus Bud. We got <laughs> We got to get that. Or smoke. We get our smoke. Listen. Yeah. 
If, yeah, we, if, need we need that. If Haney, if Haney, if Haney fights, if Haney fights Cambosis and then decides to vacate and move up and doesn't fight Loma, then I doubt we're going to see the tank versus Ryan because I imagine the tank, the belts become important again. We'd more than likely get a tank and Lomar, or you, you can see it happening and playing out that way because he's not going to jump to one forty straight after, and then Tio and Tio and Haney becomes more of an interesting fight. Yeah, but there's still more. There's still I more think animals. Somebody, in that I think somebody. Honestly, y'all y'all gonna laugh when I say this, but honestly, I think somebody gonna step up and try to fight Devin before he go to forty. Lomachenko want to. That's the Loma. thing, though. If he if he if he, va- if he vacate, like that's Loma's sitting there. You know that Bob brought him back for that reason. He said at the airport when they got him in the airport, he said I'm back for undisputed. Man, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I think Haney is going to be his last fight in 35. But we don't know what the contract is. Have I mean, we don't know if the contract, if he has to fight Loma in the contract, if it says right oh, there. I doubt it. I, I doubt they would have put that in already, be considering that Loma was already. You know, preoccupied at that time. That I mean, I mean, I mean, like five, five to three fights, but he, he has to be in in lightweight. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe the contract, though, the way it's worded, there might be a way yeah. around it. It might just be three fights with on the top rank, you know, co promotion, and then he's like, "I can still do that at 140." You've got Tio, let's go. And Bob Bucket. might be Bob, Bob might be like, "Do you know what? Fuck it." <laughs> you don't know, like it, it could be that way, but you know Bob wants Loma to get those belts. So if Haney does move up, you know Loma's getting the shot at those belts. He's just got to pick the opponent. And and with Mayweather promotions having Tank, like that's the only that's the only problem um, I would see with Tank getting that fight. But if Tank asked him and said, "Look, let me try and get these belts off Loma," that's a huge fight, then it makes sense. But but you gotta remember try and get also those that uh, you gotta remember also that all this shit is contingent upon Loma beating Ortiz. Yeah, of course, of yeah, course, of course, no doubt, no doubt. But let's have it right, though, Shelton. Ortiz has looked great, but Herring was catching him loads. Yeah, so like it's not like he's not getting hit, and he's already up and coming. This is a huge moment for him. Loma's been in many times, and if Loma's kept, yeah. If Lomas yeah, kept know, himself know, sweet, he's gonna be he's gonna be a nightmare, man. Would, and he wants to make a statement. This is going for undisputed. You know what he's like when he's on when, when he's he's like a dog for his tail. He's gonna be on this. And I fucking and I agree with everything you saying, but I also remember that this is boxing. No, I hear, you, I hear you. I hear. I hear. You, I hear. You, I hear. You, I hear you, anything. But, but Bob. But Bob and uh, this is all the top rank situation. Let's be fair. Yeah, yeah, let's oh, be yeah. Fair. yeah, yeah. This is this is this <laughs> oh, is my this is a Bob in my house situation. He's like, I'm bringing you back. Yeah. I've spoken to Jermaine. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's up for it. It's all good. I know you could do well, it. It's not this, a problem. I, I, agree, I agree on this point. If Ortiz don't knock him out, he ain't gonna win. No, that's true. That's true. Like, look, let's have it Go right. Loma went, Loma went to war, but let's not get it twisted. He looked absolutely brilliant against Nagatani and um, Kobe before he before the war. Yeah, he did. He was moving beautifully. He was moving smoothly. He was picking his shots well. Um, he looked great. He looked like the Loma of old before. Before it was great to see. And um, he was on a mission. He was on a fucking mission. And he's come back. And look, seeing Usyk do what Usyk's just done, and him being there with him, that's, it's just all adding fuel to the fire. It's just all adding fuel to the fire for him. So. Yeah, you, you want to talk about motivation, yeah. Yeah, it's, there's just so much of it. His country, what Usyk's done, the fact that he's come back now, the, all of the belts being all together as well. That's the kind of thing that it, it's, just, it's just a beautiful gift that you, you can have it, one yeah. fight and put it all on the line and take them all in one go and say to yourself, fucking yes, instead of having to negotiate contracts and reigation clauses and three other fights and in three different places and three different camps. You can do one solid, hard fucking camp for one guy and just take all the straps. Yeah. I mean that's that's a blessing. It's a fucking blessing. Yeah, and uh, I like Usyk's confidence too. Did you think you won the fight? Of course. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> I mean, and he took. He, I mean, the middle rounds Joshua was taking him, bro. But then after Joshua got gassed down in nine round, ten, yeah. eleven, and twelve was all fucking Usyk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Joshua that's the, that's the that's the hard thing, right, Od? Because Usyk said. 
when he went back to the corner, he was taking them deep breaths. Yeah, um, he was. He was. He had to do it for his country, right? So he's coming out. He's coming out in round ten, completely motivated with a mindset like this is bigger than me. Josh was just had a, a great round nine, sitting there going, "I reckon I could, I can hold this out now. I've been doing all right, and I, I, that nine swinging it in my favour. I've just got to keep the same thing for the." And then there's Usyk, like it's round one again, and he's like, "Fuck." <laughs> And it, uh, you know, and it just took him down mentally, and it built Usyk more up, and then the three rounds, it's over, you know. It's, it's the problem well, I right said there, the same but... thing. I said the same thing about Usyk. I said about Benavidez. You got to beat him. I mean, yeah, you the problem is, yeah, you got to beat Usyk. But the problem is with Joshua with him in the body, and Joshua, he 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 did some uh, he did some adjustments. He went to yeah. a body a lot, and but what happened there when he hurt him, he was too excited, like, oh shit, I got him hurt. Bro, you're gonna get you gotta like okay, you got gassed out because you throw all those punches, but you were missing and he yep. was clinching. Yeah. So when he was I would come back in the corner, I would have told Joshua, hey bro, place your punches right. Yep. Do not throw your punches all fucking crazy. If you got him hurt, place your punches right. Do not fucking throw them all stupid because you're gonna gas out. That yep. was the mistake that Joshua did. That's true. Again. Yeah, they should have. They should have. They should have told him. Been his issue, Odin? But that's what I mean. They should have. Has that been his issue a lot? His, his issue, issue is his gas tank. That's his what yeah, made issue. But his the gas tank. Right th yeah, his gas tank. But the problem right here, Mr. Shelton, he got too. He got too fucking excited. Like, okay, you got that motherfucker hurt. All right, you gotta chill out, bro. You you're not a fucking. You're not a finisher like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to not, you got to not think about the finish. You got to yeah. think about how you're gonna finish. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that was that's what I don't know who was telling him the uh, the game plan. It was Robert or it was Leo Fernandez. No, well, that was no. It was um, it wasn't Robert. It wasn't Robert, right? No, it wasn't. But this is interesting. Do you think? Do you think if this fight? I mean, you know, if the contract goes across and he signs it, then it's a done deal. Do you think he's having Robert Garcia in his corner again? He has to have Robert Garcia in his fucking corner. Yeah. That was the big, I think, that I was think he looked the, good. I think he looked good. That was, that was his biggest adjustment. Look, Robert Garcia, like I tell you, about, Robert Garcia is a good trainer, bro, and an offensive fighter. Virgil yeah. made a mistake for leaving him, bro. For me, Virgil did have made a mistake. I don't. That was a dumb reason to leave. But you know, if the kid has to do what he has to do, but go somewhere else, fuck it, let him go. But the power, Bar Robert Garcia, bro, is a good offensive trainer, bro. He he made a lot of adjustments to Madonna. When Madonna didn't have that hip movement and leg head uh, hip movement and head movement. But Robert Garcia would teach you the fundamentals of an offensive fighter. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? So he gave my gun, he taught my gun how to use the jab. Yeah. Hey, he's a class trainer, man. You only have to look at his record, like you know. How many like, champions he got? It is. Look at, I mean, look what you know, and look what he's doing with Bam. You know, like I'm really excited to see him on the card this weekend. Can't wait. Hey, but but see, Bam been that good from the jump. You know, no, what I, mean? know. Yeah. I know, I know, yeah, yeah. but, it's, been, but... See, Bam been talented like that from the get go. Not not yeah, because yeah. he was training at RBG, uh, Robert Garcia Boxing Academy in San Antonio, while Robert was always in Cali. So he was getting developed by his pops. You know what I'm saying? And his older brother, Josh Franco. So it was kind of what what kind of molded Bam. Then adding Robert Garcia's, you know, special special seasoning in there. And, and, and it kind of made him a different type of, you know, And then Bam didn't look up to Lomachenko, YB? That was, yeah, like, Bam looked up to Lomachenko, but Donaire was also his uh, his idol, too. Nito yeah. and Bam were his I mean, Nito and Loma were his idols. Exactly. Yeah. So you got to look at the fact that Robert Garcia... He he's smart enough to realize I'm not trying to change these dudes. The fact that Robert Garcia, I'm just trying to enhance what they do well. I'm, I'm just trying to enhance it. That's all I'm trying to do. Hey, Uncle, you come right back in. You got an echo. What's up? What's up, Knockout B? What's up, Big Bro? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. How y'all doing, man? Salute to everybody on the panel. Everybody in the chat. Y'all hit the like button for the young homie, young Billy, man. Yeah, appreciate that, bro. We, my What's boy, up, Danny, came in. I still got I echo. Think no, no, no. It was it was Uncle D. It wasn't you, Uncle Sheldon. Oh, oh okay. What's up, KO? Yeah. Come right I back, mean, my man, Uncle D. I can't call it. I can't call it, Sheldon. I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm, hey, knockout, bro. I'm proud of you and what you're doing too, man. You know, 
Uh, I can't wait to judge your debate tomorrow as well. You know what I mean? Looking forward to it. I can't wait to have you, bro. I'm looking forward you know to it, man. We got, one, we, got one, we got one tonight, too. You're always – oh, for real? Okay. Who do you always tonight? Support, man. Look, I'll be supporting, bro, because usually you do them on Wednesdays and Thursdays, so – me, yeah, I'm kind of out. Know, I missed Who the I baby tonight? Thursday because my internet went down, bro. So I um, so I moved it to today. So we're gonna have three this week. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Who's yeah, the yeah. baby tonight? Um, it's a McK- I'm actually doing my first women's boxing debate. It's Michaela Mayer Uh-oh. versus Juan Gardner. It's OTB boxing versus Jay Chestnut. Michaela Mayer okay. gonna win. Okay. Who you got knockout? I got Michaela yeah. I got Mayer. Mayer I got Mayer, man. I think Mayer's too mean, mean for. Oh, I don't know if that's the reason. I don't know that if she too mean on Kishon. Right. I think so. Go she got a mean streak, bro. The bum gardener, bum gardener. Yeah, she mean got too, a mean bro. streak, bro. She got yeah. a nasty jab, and she got a mean streak. She also yes. got a head. She also got a head and a chin that she can't seem to keep out the goddamn air. Now she yes. don't do that. She don't. She don't move her head. That's what she don't do. She got a. She do have a chin in the air, but she getting a little better with yeah. uh, with my boy Coach K Karoma and Coach Mitchell. She. She's she's tightening up, but but Baumgartner got a nice team with Tony Harrison. She looks pretty good too. What's up, Uncle D? What's going, nice on, guys? what's going on, yeah. fellas? What's, what's up, fellas? What's going on? Hey D. Hey, what's you, going on, son? Yeah. Oh, nice on uh, uh, boxing, uh, Sheldon. Uh, what's up, homie? Hot what's up, D? What's going on, D Tell the truth. What's good, bro? Hey, not much, man. Hey, man, I'm glad you're on here because I ain't, I ain't never heard you on here number like one time when I first joined a long time ago or whatever. But um, I wanted to hear your take. You always get some little good. I, I, I checked you and Smoke out one time and I messed with Smoke because I was like, you know, you were talking about the um, Lomachenko thing about him. Oh, yeah, the Loma, Loma, Loma and Haney. Yeah, I really enjoyed that, <laughs> but. But one thing I want to I want to ask you about because I like your you know I like how you analyze things and your perspective on things. Plus you got YB on here. YB hate me because you know I'm fool with Spence. I want to hear what you think about that fight, man. <laughs> Which fight? <laughs> about Spence? About the way he moving? He ain't been nowhere. We ain't heard nothing from him. You know, I, I just want to know your perspective on it. You know, and every Think fight has hate- been made. No, no, I'm, I'm listen. Every fight has been made all the time. They've been able to make these fights, and I'm gonna tell you something else. Y'all say yeah. Earl the cash cow. If Earl is the cash cow, this is what I'm gonna tell y'all. Yeah, this is why I have my. Shit. This is why I take my. This is why I ask you these questions. If he's the cash cow, Earl everybody Earl. listen. Listen, anybody who has ever gotten the chance to fight the cash cow, you know why he always want people to fight him because they get more money than what they used mm-hmm. to. So if he the cash cow, he got to do that. And if you ain't willing to do that, then you got to sit up and start asking yourself something. Hey, why you, won't get him that that? why you won't get him more? You know, if if he used to making 10, I don't care who you are, like Pacquiao. Pacquiao no, was in the score, but when and he got in there with Mayweather, he made buku money because he got in there with the cash cow. I the mean, same thing, hold on, wait a minute. The whole th- the uh, same thing goes with, with, with um, Crawford. Everybody right. that has fought Crawford, think about it. They right. got more money. Did America get a lot of money? I mean, come Did Shelly Porter maybe. get a lot of money? Show was safe. I'm just asking questions. Did they get a lot Should of money? Like was it yeah, sure yeah. making these other Did fights? they get more than what you they were used to? You're asking questions in the form of statements. I'm just waiting on my turn to talk. I, I hear what you're saying. Go ahead. Keep, keep go, ahead go ahead. No, I, I, I want to hear your – I mean, I just want to hear so, so, what you so think about bro, it. For me, bro, is it's very simple. Like that, that sound good, you know. But cash cow don't mean people get their highest payday against you. Cash cow means the money that you generate, right? So, for instance, people make way more money to fight Devin Haney than they do to fight Javante Tank Davis. JoJo D has got like two two point five million dollars to fight Devin Haney, and and Isak Pitbull Cruz got like five hundred thousand to fight Tank Davis. But why is Tank Davis considered the cash cow? Not because of the paydays. The fighters get, get against him. He's considered the cash cow because of those two. He's the only one fighting on pay-per-view. He's considered the cash cow because of those two. He's the only one that's, that's selling a lot of live gated and doing better numbers in terms of the ticket sales at the actual venue. So you take that analogy and you and you and you spin it to Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford. It's very simple. Earl Spence and Mikey Garcia did 360,000 pay-per-view buys. Terrence Crawford has done 325,000 pay-per-view buys with all of his pay-per-views. Earl Spence sells more tickets at the actual venue 
than Terrence Crawford does. These ain't my opinions, bro. I ain't saying who I think gonna win the fight. I'm not doing none of that shit. These are just the facts of the matter. So when you look at it from that perspective, Earl Spence is clearly the cash cow when it comes to these two, bro. It's not. It's not even really close. Now I do agree with you, though. I do agree with you. Terrence Bud Crawford should get the most money he's ever made to fight Earl Spence, and vice versa. Exactly. I would just say, I would just say that the hold up, and I'm not blaming nobody, bro. I'm not saying it's his fault. I don't know if PBC is lowballing Terrence Crawford. I don't know I if know Terrence what it is. is asking too much money. But what I will say is that the PBC been doing business with Earl Spence literally his entire career. Another fact, not my opinion, just another oh, fact. I respect, that. Are, I respect that. And they are the ones that are sending the offer. So everyone knows that when you send an offer, when the A side sends an offer to the B side, then the A side has already agreed to their part. Like they already done agreed to it. They cool with the money. They cool with everything that's in front of them because you can't send an offer unless your fighter has already agreed to the shit. So well, we all know that, that hold up is coming from Terrence Bud Crawford's side. Now, whose fault is it? Is it is it Bud asking for too much money? Is it the PBC lowballing them shit? I don't mm -hmm. know, and I don't mm -hmm. care. I, I just hope I get to see the fight. But just the only thing, I, only thing I push back is. on is, is the cash cow shit. Earl is clearly the cash cow, bro. And I'm gonna tell you what it is. A round of applause for that. Hey, you said we This is what it is. I'm gonna be straight up with you, because <laughs> I'm too smart for this shit. <laughs> the problem is, they want Crawford as old as that motherfucker can be when he get in there. Oh, Jesus that's why. Christ. Hold on, hold on. That's why. Hey, bro, I'm why you keep channel. cutting them off? Let my me nigga. finish. Why Let you keep finish. cutting them off, bro? Let me finish. That's oh, why damn, when I was. That's why when I was on this channel a while back. And YB, you probably remember this. I was on here with, I think, No Cap or Ayo or somebody, and I said, well, who do you want Bud to fight? And them niggas kept saying, Thurman. That's what they have been pushing. They want Thurman. They don't. They want this shit to last as long as it can to that motherfucker 36. This shit could have happened way back. They want him to be about 35, 36. And if you look over the history, this ain't nothing new. This ain't nothing new about getting these niggas when they get that age. Let's not play games. If you've been watching boxing, you know what I know. It's the age game, baby. <clears throat> even it's even Neil James, to a certain point, admitted it. Well, when that athletic talent league, come on, man. We know what's going on. Read between the lines. You don't want that dude in that young because it's a dangerous fight for him. It is not a good fight for him. I promise you. And I'm confident in that. And I'm going to stand by that, what I just said. I know it's my opinion. I respect your opinion. I respect the money things. I respect what you're saying about that. But this is an age game, man. And this ain't nothing new. It's the same thing when Tank threw, when Loma threw Tank name out there. We don't need Loma. Loma the one in a rush. Read between the lines. Same thing. Now wait till Loma get his ass beat and watch how everybody jump in line like they did with Gamboa. Like Shit, they he already got his ass beat twice. I know, though, but, but I'm saying, I'm saying, listen, when they feel comfortable, when they when they know, oh, he ready, he right, mm -hmm. he right. When they know he right, watch how everybody start getting these. Man, come on, man, these dudes are three time, three division champions. They right for the picking. Yeah, you gonna pick them because it look good on your resume. Look, bro, I I ain't mad at nothing you said. I would just say for your sake, for my sake, for everybody on the panel. And everybody in the chat, I just hope as a content creator and as a boxing fan that if the fight don't happen and it fall through, I hope all the shit become public so we can see what the real deal is and who the hell is the reason for this fight not happening, bro. Facts. That's all that's all that's all I want. The same way that Caleb Plant and Canelo, when they was in their negotiations, we found out everything the PBC was offering Canelo. And we and everybody was like, damn, Canelo, like, what else could you want? You getting all this shit and you still ain't like, what's going on? And about a week or two later, that fight got pushed through the finish line. So what I'm hoping is that whatever the reason is, because see, this is I'm an equal opportunity smoker, bro. Like I smoke whoever deserves getting smoked at the appropriate time. So I just want to know why the fight don't happen if I don't get the fight that I want to see. Like what I what I don't want is Earl Smith Jr. versus Keith Thurman to get announced or shit, even Earl. Versus Jerome Boots, it is to get announced. I don't want none of that shit unless I know why I'm not getting Earl Smith versus Terrence Crawford. Hey, Amen, brother. It is what it is with that shit, bro. I just know for a fact, again, nobody's fault. I don't know who fault it is, but I got that's one true. guy that's done business with a promotional company his entire career, another guy who's never done business with him a day in his life, 
odds are that side is probably the hold up. Now you got some people gonna tell you it's because he's getting low ball. You got some people gonna tell you it's because he asking for too much money. I don't know and I don't care. But once it's the facts do come out, though, I'm giving them whoever, whoever the smoke needs. Neither one of these dudes ain't talking no more. It's something. It ain't just no fucking money. It's something. Ain't neither one of them talking no more. It's something, bro, behind the closed doors. It ain't got nothing to do with them no more. I'm sorry. Because if it was them, you would hear Earl sitting up saying, fuck him. If he don't want to take the 45, he don't want to take the 40. You would be hearing shit like that. They won't say nothing because they, they fucking got their mouth locked down because they them handling business the way they want to handle business to maximize money. And I ain't mad at them because that's the business side, but that's what they doing. And they going to squeeze that money out because Earl, I mean, because Thurman, he's the real fucking problem. If you ask me, he the real problem. Because don't nobody want to sit up, for example, and lose and then be that whatever you want to call. I won't call it a gatekeeper, but they don't want to take on that, 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 that up and coming. You know what I'm saying? The boots, the Ortiz. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. He don't want to work his way back exactly. up. Exactly. He, he don't want to. He just want like, that. Bro, he want beat, that straight back to the Mario, You beat Mario Barrios. Yeah, you got knocked out on. by a guy exactly. who used to fight exactly. at 130 bro. pounds, bro. Like, how do you get the like? You need to fight Virgil. Everybody you need to fight Saint Illinois. You need to fight. You need to fight Jerome Boots in it. Like those are the guys that they disappeared. Keith need to fight, bro. You know what I mean? Bro, they but, disappeared. Danny Danny ran the one fifty four. Sean retired, and Keith Thurman ain't he he. he Thurman ain't trying to get in there with none of them young dogs. And he ain't ready to run on if you ask me. I don't think he had, uh, just nobody. a month ago he was acting like he ain't know who Jerome Boutique yeah. was, bro. Exactly. Yeah. That bullshit. He's playing the same game um Mayweather played on him. Mayweather told him the same thing. Who is who is Keith Thurman? My boy Ike says it's Al Heyman. Simple as that. Stop making things complicated. I don't know that. I don't know that I mean, Ike. it's easy. The reason people are able to do that young Billy because he don't talk. So you only get one side of the story with him. You'll get the Oscar De La Hoyas, you get the Bob Arams, you get, you know, those you get the Eddie Hearns and shit. They'll all shit on Al Heyman and they blame him for fights falling through. They blame him for all this shit. And he don't ever talk back. So they 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 consider his silence to be complicit. Well shit, they blaming Al Heyman. And Al Heyman didn't come out and say it wasn't him. So shit, they must be telling the truth. Yeah, I never I never how that's the good thing about Heyman. You don't have to talk to the media, bro. Well, Al Heyman got that Canelo well, and well, Taylor Clark fight done pretty fucking swiftly. So, another thing I got problems. for you, knockout. Another thing I got for you. See, I can't. Th this one thing about me, and I, I get, I get a little. Um, they get on me a little bit about this sometimes because I protect certain people, you know, and I say certain things like, I like Loma, even though I like Devin and I like Shakur even more than any of them. I like. Oh, Tank so you too. love, so you love the work I put in that day, then. Oh yeah, no doubt. But, but, <laughs> but I like, but I like, um, you know, I like, I'm a Shakur man over any of them, to be honest. That's me. But I like Devin because you know most of the people they support Devin, and I do too. I like Devin. Devin just as good. I just think Shakur a little bit ahead on a little bit more fundamentally sound and everything else, and better with distance, his timing. I think a little bit better of him in that sense. But he's a one thirty pounder, and. You know, Devin's 135, so I stick with Devin at the 135. But I do like Loma. I still think it's a dangerous fight. I don't think that's no walkover. Um, But one of the things I wanted to say to you is that I don't like to, for example, move different for certain people. Like I heard people saying Canelo didn't duck because, oh, he got the franchise belt and he wanted to go do this. Well, that's what you had to protect. They tried to say Loma duck. The same thing. They don't have that same perspective on different fighters. So my thing is this. If Pretty much Al is the same advisor that he is, for example, like tanking this and that or whatever. If I come out and I hear tanking them sit up and say, I don't pick my fights, why would I think different if he got other motherfuckers that make good money too? Why would I think different? Thanks. Let's be honest. Ain't nobody going to do that. Why would I think different? If, if you if, Listen, if you're a $10 million dude and I got you and you sit up and say, Shit, man, that, that motherfucker the cash cow, but he don't pick his fights. So why would I think the eight million dude pick his own? No, nah, I feel that it's just I think Tank is on bullshit with that, bro. And I'm a tank. Nah, and I'm a tank nah, I don't think he bullshit on that because I that's why they had a lot of beef. And even then, though you may not, when, even though you, you may don't not remember when Floyd threw, you don't here, remember when Floyd threw low name out at him. Knock out. You don't remember when he said it's No, no. Here's why, D. Because just like see, 
that's why these young guys, bro, they got to be careful with social media and shit because you don't get to cop out and you don't get to tell me shit like you don't pick your fights. You don't get to cop out and tell me shit like ain't no safety on this Glock. You don't get to do all of that. Mm -hmm. But then I see you tweeting all this other shit. And I see you, I see you on, on Instagram and shit. You got all this other shit to say. Now, even if you don't pick your fights, what's wrong with saying, look, bro, this is what it is. I won't smoke with Loma. I won't smoke with Devin. I'll beat the shit out of Ryan Garcia. However, my promotional company set this other fight up for me. So I'm gonna beat his ass. I'm gonna knock his ass out. But just know this ain't the fight I want. These are the fights that I want over here. These fighters don't get to say all this other shit. All this, all this extra shit, and then when it comes time when somebody puts your feet to the fire, ask you why you not fighting the fights that we want you to fight. All of a sudden, you don't pick your fights. Nah, bro, speak up. You a grown ass man, right? You a grown ass man. You man, got kids I'm, and shit. I'm, you you a millionaire you. and shit. Like say Knock what you want. Everything bro. I'm saying came out of these dudes' mouth. Just like just like when um Stephen Espinosa had um uh, Sean Porter fighting Crawford, and Crawford made him repeat it. Wait a minute, repeat that again. It's up to who. He said it's up to the fighters if they want to fight. It was uh, what's his name, Tom Brown. Yeah, but 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 that's what I'm saying. I mean, I can't I can't keep ignoring this shit coming out of their mouth. This ain't me hearing it from, you know, because I'm not one of them. I don't tell no nigga, oh yeah, he, he want this much money and he don't want. I don't do that. I don't play that. But if I hear it coming out of your mouth, like you said, don't be telling me you're gonna beat his ass and then you can't you don't want to fight him or they can't get the fight with you. You, you don't call your shots. But you calling everybody goddamn name out? Yeah, facts. I agree with you, bro. Like, I don't, I don't disagree. I think everyone should be held to the same standard. As long as you're an active fighter, bro. If you still make, if you still expect me to pay my subscription to Showtime or the Zone, or if you're fighting on pay per view and you want me to pay for your pay per view fights and shit, whatever it is, bro. Like, you need to be held to the standard of a professional athlete. And I just professional need athletes them. are are supposed to compete against the best, bro. I it's just, just need, it, it, I just it, need them to say I just need them to say look I ain't in it to be the best I'm a prize fighter I'm just I'm just a celebrity fighter and I'll leave you man, alone but if you're gonna man, be in here you in here to be Canelo, the best bro, bro. you in here that's, to be the best if you in this game you signed up for boxing nobody made you join this bro. sport you in here to be the best show me I but look that's my there. that's my issue that's my issue with Canelo though bro like if you if you too small for 175 and shit you need to come out and say that shit. Quit having your fans talk for you. Don't say stupid shit that don't make no sense. Like, yo, I want the Demetri Bivol rematch again. Okay, cool. You want that fight, Canelo? Yeah, but I ain't fighting him if he lose. Okay, you're not fighting him if he lose, Canelo? Well, who you picking in the Bivol and Zerto Ramirez fight? Oh, I'm going for Zerto Ramirez. Oh, hold on, hold on, Canelo. So if you're not going to fight Bivol if he lose, mm -hmm. but you want to fight Bivol, don't that mean that you would want Bivol to win so you could get that rematch? Why are you rooting for him to lose if you're saying you're not gonna fight him if he loses? He oh, needs to just come out and tell us. He, he just already said he's gonna fight he the Mexican go either, right? bro. But he ain't gonna fight Zerto either because Zerto. Yeah, Mexican, so he right? he's literally rooting for the outcome that will make him not have to fight. Basically, he's what he's bro. saying is he need a blueprint. Sounds like that's what he's saying to me. I need a blueprint. Hurry, yeah, not like, I like that, that's my issue. Just come out and tell us the truth. Look, bro, I went up to 175. I thought I was gonna go for undisputed up there. Them dudes too got them big. They too goddamn strong. I'm down here at 168 now. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep defending my undisputed mm -hmm. title. If anybody yeah. wants smoke with me, you gotta come see me at 168. But see, he don't say that shit. He try to leave the door open like he want all this smoke in the world. Like he ain't ducking no phase. When in reality, if you really paying attention, you know what's up, bro. Damn, you know hey, up, bro. look, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm look at it another way. I agree with you, knockout. But this is my this is my view on him saying that he won't fight uh, Bivol if he loses. He's rooting for the Mexican. He's rooting for his his countrymen because he's that's his countrymen. But I'm pretty sure if he wanted the rematch, he wants Bivo to win because it won't it won't kill the steam of the fight because he'll still be fighting him for the title that he was trying to go up there and get in the first place. So I understand to he don't to me Canelo don't need to be fighting at 75 to begin with because I want to see him with dudes like Benavidez and Charlo and these guys at 168 anyway. You know what I mean? I, for me, the 175. I you right, YB, but that's check, what this, separate... check this out, bro. Check this out, YB. I feel you, but that's Canelo Alvarez. That's the cash for cow that. and shit. Like, for the first time, he, for the first him time, going, him, going going fight, him going to fight somebody that beat him, bro. Man, that shit gonna be buzzing, bro. Now, it don't matter if Bivol lose or not. If Canelo announced a Bivol fight after what Bivol did to him, 
that shit buzzing, bro. That shit gonna be big, whether Bivol beat Zerto or whether he loses to Zerto, because Canelo is going back to fight the person that beat him, bro. I think that's just an excuse for Canelo Alvarez, bro. I, I refuse. Like, to, further, 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 it's more, like, bro, it's, further like it's like it's like it's like right now. It's like, like with we Joshua. Play, we got the we got the debate series and shit, right? Like, so mm-hmm. let, let me just ask y'all something. Let's say I debate Young Billionaire, and Young Billionaire beat my ass in the debate, but then he get another debate scheduled. With my brother, detail the truth, and I say, look, bro, I won't smoke with young billionaire, bro. But I only won't smoke with young billionaire if he win his debate against detail the truth. And then they say, all right, knockout. You won't smoke with him if he win. Well, who you want to win, knockout? Oh, I'm going for detail the truth to win. But, but, but wait a minute, knockout. You said you wanted <laughs> young billionaire. You want to smoke with him, but you only want him if he beat if he win the debate. But now you're saying you don't want him to win the debate. So, knockout, do you really want smoke with Young Billionaire? That's all I'm saying, bro. Like, the shit don't make sense, bro. I'm At just some saying point, said, don't your own said. personal pride and competitiveness mean more than this fake sense of pro- Mexican pride? And then the last thing, and I'll shut up, bro, that I really want to get out. The last, the last thing, bro, like, at the end of the day, we talking about a fighter. He ain't had no issues fighting Mexicans 28 of his first 30 fights. He built his whole goddamn but, uh, career. He be, he built his whole but, goddamn. But, but he but he started his career now, all of a sudden, fifteen, bro. He's a man, right? Now all of a sudden he's a man. But he started his he career when he was fifteen. Fight, in Mexico. And he don't want to get them they highest payday and shit. But it was Go cool. Let me, let me finish this statement. Then y'all y'all respond to this shit, bro. Like yeah. nah, dog, I can't rock with that shit. Go ahead, Wabi. No, no that's some shit. That's some shit. I don't rock with Canelo. What he say? Yeah, I agree with you right there, bro. I, yeah, I agree with you right there. To a panel, con level. What's up, uh, bro? Talk to me. Here. Let me say this little piece and I'm out too, man. I ain't gonna I ain't finna leave, but I'm just saying I just want to say this. All right. Boxing is like this. Same thing with any other sport. People come along and they raise the level. To me, the best two fighters, hands down, it's because they raise the level of what you got to do to prove you the best, and that's hard to do. That's the Devons, that's the the, the Crawfords, that's the Usyk. Usyk right now, he, he he's close to doing it in t- two divisions, bro. And you got to respect that. That's just me. I respect the man. He don't just go to the division and win one belt and then say, nah, I'm going to go back down and fight the, the goofy dude that just got the belt on a lucky-ass punch. And then he go back when the other one want to fight him. Nah, I ain't finna fight that motherfucker. I'm going to go back up. You know, that that moving up and down and playing, you know, you, you fight between three weight classes, but you can't unify a division. I don't, I don't really, because that's what they did. They raised the level to that standard. So now that's why it's so interesting that Spence and Crawford fight. For me. <laughs> because if one of them unify that division, <laughs> the 154, that's special, bro. That's special. If they can do that, that's special. If they do 147 and 154, I don't care which one wins, that's special. And it separates you from the Canelos, the rest of them. Why? That's the only way you separate yourself, you got to go change it. Can I jump in, bro? Go ahead, bro. Uh, hey, man. Hey, 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 what's up, OD? Yeah, man. What's up, OD? Um, um, on um, Canelo fighting Bivol, bro. If Surdo wins, Canelo's probably going to end up fighting Bivol again at 168. 175 way no 168 because Babel has said it several times that he will he'll be willing to go down and fight for can uh, fight uh, on canelo for his belts at 168 he said it that he's comfortably making 168 Babel has said it several times um and about not fighting mexicans bro he's not referring to david benavides because to canelo that's not a mexican he's not a mexican bro you know uh he uh, he says that shit when it re- uh, when when it involves. Um, As I heard they call him the Mexican monster. <laughs> right. Well, his his mom is Cuban. <laughs> hold on, hold on, call hold, him on, hold, on hold on, hold on. Well, his mom is Cuban and he was born in America. So I understand. Yeah. So his mom, his mom from so, Ecuador. Yeah, yeah. His mom yeah. From Ecuador. Ecuador. Yeah, my bad. Ecuador. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So there you go, man. So Canelo's born and raised there. It's a big difference, man. You know what I, I mean? Know. It's, it's I like know. it's like okay, yeah, bro. It's like when Oscar de la Hoya fought Julio Cesar Chavez. They didn't consider Oscar de la Hoya Mexican. 
I know he ain't Mexican. Well, I already knew that. Well, I knew. well, that, well that's, that's, that's along the lines I of know. that. That's why they don't. So let me continue, man. Let me continue. Like so let me continue, bro. So let me continue, right? So when so when Canelo says I'm not going to fight a Mexican, he's, he's referring to um, oh, Oscar De La Hoya's fighters. The first time he said it, uh, and I'm a, well, the first time he said it, uh, are you, the Mexican media asked, are you willing to fight um, um, Jaime Munguia? And Canelo said, I'm not going to fight Mexicans. The second time he said it again, because when they asked him about uh, Surdo Ramirez, there you go. So he doesn't want to make business with, uh, with Oscar de la Hoya. He's not, and when they ask him about, uh, when they ask him about David Benavides, yeah, I'll fight him, but they need to fight between each other. Have, guess, uh, have, uh, uh, have Charlo, fight, uh, have Charlo, have Charlo fight, uh, Canelo. I mean, have Charlo fight David uh, or, you know, if I have them between them and I'll fight him. That's that different. He said he'll fight him. Right. Do, do you do you get that right yeah, there I, around I, the line? I get where you're coming from, man. Yeah. I get where you're coming from, but at the same time, I'm just saying it, it ain't looking good. Like you know, if you want, I mean, it, it, it ain't looking good. There. It ain't looking good on this side of the country. But, but to be honest, you know what I mean. It's just this side, hey, man. Bro. That's what. That's, side, what this, that's what I don't like, though. That's yeah, what man, I, mean. I mean, to, to be I honest, like, you're, you're you're an American panel, bro. You this, know what I mean. You you're let, an American you, panel. Well, if you jump to a UK panel, you promise you, bro, you won't hear this conversation. Or yeah, even, no, or even not, if you go, hold on, or even, or, or even, or even if you, or even if you jump to a Spanish no, panel, is, which even is, hold on, hold on. So, so even if you jump to a Spanish panel, it being a Colombian, uh, Colombian channel or a Cuban channel or Dominican Republic channel, I promise you, bro, you won't hear this. It's only on even, the side. even the Mexicans don't like the shit. What are you saying? W what Mexicans, bro? To you, what Mexicans? Shit. To, to, to you, Look. what Mexicans? Hold on, but but to shit. you, what Mexicans? The ones what? that's in boxing. The ones that's in boxing, like who? Have you ever like heard? Of, oh, hold on, 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 hold on. Have you ever heard uh, El Gallo Estrada say something about it? Have you ever hold on? Have you ever heard um uh fucking uh fuck Navarrete say something about it? Or Andy or Andy or Andy, or have you said bro? I can keep on and keep on, bro. But well, what you you're hearing is but you can name a lot on that deal though. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me a Mexican fighter that said that. Tell me. Tell me LT. LT, let me say this. I think I think it's a bit. When he was oh, fighting Chavez, Uncle D, just, hold on, hold on, hold on. When he was fighting Chavez, they were saying De La Hoya wasn't a real Mexican because he was born in America and he won a gold medal for America. They was arguing about that, building up to that. I remember that. That's what I'm saying. He says that a lot of Mexican fighters are, are, are talking about it. No, they're not, bro. Tell me a Mexican fighter that's, talk, that's saying, oh, you know, it's talking shit about Canelo like that. Tell me. Well, only no. Zerto. Zerto says something. Zerto says something. Oh, else when they they said some, man. It's a whole bunch Zerto of dudes. Did. Zerto said something when he got interviewed. He said, yeah, I don't know why he wouldn't just fight. Right. Yeah, Zerto said, I don't and know Mar why. And, 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 and Marcus. Only those and that's, two. That's the other one. Yeah, Marquez, and, and, and what's the other one? Wait a minute. What's the other one? Nah, nah, it's only three. It's, three. it's only three. Okay, it's only okay. okay. Marquez more, has never. More. Hold on. Marquez has never touched that. Uh, my bad. Marquez has never touched that subject about not fighting okay, anybody. Marquez, Marquez has man. never okay, said that. Marquez has discredited Canelo and many other women. Hold on. Yeah. Marquez has discredited yeah. Canelo on the on the weight class, on dehydration class, and all that shit. But he has never touched that subject about Canelo, uh, about Canelo not fighting any other Mexican because Can Marquez knows. Oscar de la Hoya, like I said, Oscar de la Hoya to them, he's not Mexican, bro. Well, David Benavides to them is not Mexican, bro. Yeah. That's, that's oh, so, so, you want me to Ryan Garcia to them, he's not Mexican, bro. He can't even pronounce his last name, bro. Are you gonna tell him you're Mexican? And carrying that flag, it was like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, he come was on, golden bro. boy. When yeah, he was bro, golden bro, boy, y'all, I, like, I don't know if it was like, like that then. I, I like the little buzz you it got going on, game. bro. But uh, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I like your little buzz that you guys have going on in these panels, bro. Bro, I like your little buzz that you guys have going on on these panels about these little narratives, bro. But to the rest of the world, bro, that's meaningless, bro. I ain't getting on hey, hey, but LT, LT, look, I'm gonna be fair. I look. This is what I always say. I feel like it's a shot at De La Hoya, and and, and because Zerto signed the Golden Boy, I feel like that's 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 Canelo's way of saying it. 
without without putting Oscar's name in the media and making and making it making it a big deal with Oscar and giving him more buzz. I right. just think Canelo doesn't want to do business with Golden Boy because it's some real deep vitriol he got for De La Hoya. I yeah. really believe that. And Come I really on, feel bro. like he don't want to lace De La Hoya's pockets in any of his fighters. Period. That's Period. what I think. That's what I think. Of course. Um, that's what I, and that's what I know from knowing the, the inside of that story, which is why I don't even get on Nello about that because I know he said ben, if Benavidez know, and Charlo man. fight each other, he'll fight the winner. So he's hey, recently hey, said LT. that he's willing to fight Benavidez. LT did. So for me, LT did. Um, LT did. Hey, hey, LT did David fight this in something? Wait, 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 wait. Did David fight oh, this and say about that? Sh did David fight this and say something about that shit? Wait. <laughs> David fight this was not a Mexican fighter, bro. No, 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 I know he's not a fighter, bro, but he's a fucking, you know how, he's a fucking uh, reporter. He's, 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 a, he's yeah. a reporter, but look, man, David Fighters on list. What, what, right? what David Fighters <laughs> say about Canelo saying that shit where he don't want to fight Mexican fighters? And I, and I don't think something? Would, this is my thing. I don't think he would duck Zerto. They sparred before multiple times. Like, it's not like him and Zerto don't have history. Canelo, Canelo and, and Zerto, they already worked in the gym. They know, like, for me, I don't think it's no damn like, oh, he'll duck Zerto. I don't think he's scared of no Zerto, and it's no offense to Zerto. I just, I know it's some politics behind that shit. Hey, I really hey let me clear this up with LT real quick. Hey, LT, <laughs> and this ain't just about Canelo, bro. I And YB will tell you, what I don't want happening in boxing is these motherfuckers that can get social media and get a million followers and can make four million and they never have to fight nobody because they know they can get the money. And that's where, the, that's where this sport is going to. We're not getting the mm -hmm. fight because motherfucker, if I can get five million to go beat up a fucking 10 year old, I'm gonna get the five million. What am I gonna take that risk for with that big ass motherfucker over there? Hey, D, not hey, taking D. The risk. That's what I don't want to hey. see. And that's where we're going with boxing. I want the motherfucker hey, D. to fight. No, no, hey, uh, don't, don't get me wrong, bro. Nah, no, I, I, look, man, don't get me wrong. Money this is, is supposed to no, 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 Don't get me wrong. This is supposed to be. Oh, look, man, I mean, don't get me wrong, bro. Like, this is a great discussion. I mean, this is all about uh, this is the fight week, right? So we're supposed to hype up the fight, bring eyes to the, you know, to the to the key to the key players that are on, on this event. So uh, it, it, it's it's down, man. You know what I mean? It's it's a it's a discussion. It's a debate. It's down. You know what I mean? You know, it's it's, it's game. It's game. You know what I mean? It's whatever bring, it's whatever a conversation comes. You know about about Canelo or Triple G. It's it's game. You know what I mean? It's game. It don't think it. Oh no, it's not. It's it's okay, man. It's okay. I just want you to know it ain't for it ain't. They hated Mayweather. He got to get the same hate after him. Tank got to get the same hate too. It ain't no. I don't give a fuck who it is. They all get it from me. If you just in here just collecting these big ass checks and staying away from people, I'm gonna have a problem with it. That's me though, and I and I have my opinion to do that. Yeah. Mm. Hey, but Mister hey, hey, D, but what about the undisputed run that Canelo had? They entertain you when he fought nope. Carlos, me, Billy Joe, and nope. and and on. Uh, nope. 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 Why not? Why is that? Because I feel like, for example, it was too many fighters. It's kind of like right now. With all due respect, I think I think Devin Haney is the best fighter. But right now, the same respect isn't given because they know deep down in their heart that Cambosa is not number one or number two at 135. You understand what I'm saying? But it ain't, it, I'm not number, taking away. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Understand what I'm saying. This is no knock on Devin. This ain't Devin's fault. Devin wanted the fights. But I'm just telling you, as a 135-pounder, Cambosa. Tank probably feel like, man, I beat the shit out of Cambosa. I'm just calling names out. Shakur feel like, man, I move up and beat the shit out of Cambosa. Keyshawn Davis just jumped in. I'm sure he probably feel like, man, I beat the shit out of Cambosa. He probably I do. go on and on and on and on and on. I'm just saying that's why they don't respect it. But that's not Devin's fault. They bullshitted Devin and put him in that position where he got to fight for four fucking belts. And he took a bullshit deal to do it. That ain't his fault. But they weren't even trying to get him that fight because that was Loma fight. You do know that, right? Yeah, I know it was Loma fight. Because he was at okay, war. Okay, I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. So for me, when you talk about, for example, what Canelo did, with all due respect, that's my opinion of it. That doesn't mean that they are because sometimes names don't mean shit. But I just feel like there were fighters in those weight classes in that area that didn't happen. Whether it was they lost the belt or got stripped of a belt, you know. I just feel like but, uh, but, that, but that was their that, but that was their but, fault. 
But like I just said, the same thing for Devin. But I'm telling you, my side, how I feel. Yeah, I know. If I know how you feel, but like, top, like, like you got to understand it was their fault too. It's like, it's but, like, for example, listen. If, 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 um, I say the same thing. If my favorite fighter, if Bud went undefeated, don't fight Earl. I mean, if he get all the belts, don't fight Earl. I feel like he didn't fight Earl. Same thing with Earl. If Earl get all the belts and don't fight Crawford, I feel like he ain't fight Crawford. You didn't fight so you, just want, you, you, just, you, you just want to see just the typical like I want to see the just, best, bro. Like probably like with Mayweather and Pacquiao, right? You wanted to see the best right away, right there, right? I wanted to see them when they were in their primes, not when yeah. they got older. Yeah, okay, that's I got you saying. now. That's I got you. I that's why that's why I don't think the um I don't think Tank and Devin can happen. I don't think Tank and Ryan can happen. I don't think none of those fights can happen before they're 30 years old. That's my opinion of it. Now, I might be wrong, but we'll see. Time will tell. I th I don't think none of them, because they would never mess their business up. Okay. You, you okay, in 168, Benavides, you think Benavides was top one in 168? No, I, mean, I wanted to find out who was the top one. Because the top one for me was Carlos Smith. Carlos Smith was the I, top I one. No, me, he was the top one, Mister Mister D. He was. I, I out of everybody, you, out of Billy and Kenny and Benavides, Carlos Smith was top one out of all these guys. Yeah, even though he had a bad writer, even he even though belt, he had a the lineal champion, champion. he's the lineal champion, the ring magazine belt. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Yeah, he, 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 fought the the he, was, he was the longest. Yeah. He was the longest he reigning champion. Well, what what that to be European tour? But what, it doesn't matter, bro. It's about skills. It's not about being see. a fucking European. I want, it's not being a you European. Bro, okay, you know, why only Americans can serve the fight? Them European boys in that 168 division was champions, and they could fight. Callum Smith could fight. So I know. And Billy Joe got got hands too, and he was and he was skilled, and he was an awkward yeah, Billy player. Joe, Billy Joe was he was up and down. You never knew what you was getting with Billy Joe. He's a talented fighter, but you don't know what you're getting. It's a yeah, lot but of Billy, but, but Billy, Joe was, a, Billy See, Joe was getting on his rhythm. Billy Joe was getting on his rhythm. I don't do, I don't do them sometimes fighters though. I don't do. But this the thing though, Uncle like D. Joshua. I don't respect this, Joshua. This, this the thing though, Uncle D. For me. This the thing though, Uncle D. You tell me about undefeated fighters. I don't know how to lose their oath. Just like Callum Smith and uh, Billy Joe was undefeated. Caleb oh. Plant undefeated. You tell oh, me they don't know how to man. lose. No, no, no. Yeah. AYB, I didn't say that. You know I respect any man with an O. But yeah. at the same time, I'm just saying I did not feel he is that guy. Yeah. I don't feel like that. Y'all can't make me feel. It's people. No, no, okay, no, no. I'm just what, if, what if there's a person right now sitting up saying, Cambosa is that damn guy. Shit, Cambosa is undisputed. Man, he yeah, did yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I feel I what you're the saying. same argument. I can have that same argument with a dude. I'm just saying, you know, because when people criticize Crawford's resume about Benavidez, uh, ben Jose Benavidez, and they criticize Cal Velasquez, who was up and down before, too, you say, man, these dudes don't know how to lose. Yep. These, these guys never yep. lost before. That's what you say. So what I'm saying is Billy Joe and them was at least champions. Cal Velasquez and Benavidez had never been champions. At least those guys were champions and undefeated champions. So Benavidez had been champion now. Yeah, no. but Benavides, yeah, that's his fault for losing the belt. That's his he fault. The fucking belt, doing cool and and yeah, but that's his fault. That's his fault. Okay, fault. Benavides, too. That's his fault. Okay. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, Benavides. See, I'm talking about Jose why, Benavides. I ain't talking see, about people get, Jose people Benavides the, the one that Bud fought. Never if that's the case, Tank lost his belt, too. What they going to say? Nah, I'm not fighting him now. He lost his belt. That's his fault. No, you can't do that. I'm just saying we know who he is. We still know who Tank is. So we still know who Benavides is. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about David Benavidez. I'm talking about when we talk about Crawford resume, Jose Benavidez, Cavalosk has never been champion. What I, what I say yeah. about Jose Benavidez fight, like I told you, when a fighter, obviously you still can see that even when he fought Danny. He still was fucking walking down Danny and going through his punches like he's some fucking badass bully. I'm just saying when that O was there, you got more confidence when that O was there. When you get your ass wrong and knock out, you might respect that shit a little different next time when you go in there. It changes a fighter. Look at Adrian Bruno. Adrian Bruno never been the same. I mean, so like, like, why me? Because I could. I mean, we have to respect. We have to respect. We have to respect, Mister. I respect your opinion. I mean, I respect your opinion, but I'm not gonna respect all of it. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm saying is every fighter reacts different. You hear me? Knockout, bro. 
Y'all got to understand that. I can't say how. That's like Deontay Wilder. Everybody keep asking me who going to win him and Rook. I don't know because I don't know how that dude is now. That dude took some fucking punishment. How is he going to react? I don't know. That's all I'm saying. If a fighter get up, he done got knocked out cold like Pacquiao, them dudes different. They don't feel shit. He go right back in there swinging crazy again. But everybody ain't like that, bro. Everybody ain't cut from the same cloth. Understand that. That's a good a good take. Go go ahead. Um, I don't know. I don't know what y'all got to say about that, OD. That's, yeah. I don't know, bro. I'm just like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he, I, I respect Debo. I ain't going to respect some of his facts and opinions. But that's me, bro. You know? He can say whatever he wants to say, bro. But I respect him. But... It is what it is. My man, I ain't going to agree with some of that stuff. I ain't going to agree with some of his stuff, what he says. Because none of these fucking fighters who put their laces on the fucking gloves, they ain't no fucking... Leo Santa Cruz. Pick. I don't know how he's going to come back after that. I, I mm -hmm. know, but I'm just saying, bro. You never know in boxing. But I'm just yeah, saying. Like you said, you, never, hit, you, never, you know. never know what's going to happen. I you never, yeah, know. Like you said, yeah, I don't know me neither. Like, we don't know. We that don't know Vargas, how the future Jose Vargas, his career over with. That little dude, Jose Vargas, who's a Pater knocked out, his career over yeah. with. Oh, he over, over I know. with. And he was cocky as fuck. Do he look the same now? Nope. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay. I agree with some of his stuff, but not all of it. That's you know what I'm saying. Like right there, I agree with you. With Adrian Broner, we'll say, and all those guys. So yeah, we have your to career. see is what I'm and, saying. And Miguel Burchell. And Miguel Burchell. Exactly. That's what happened with Miguel Burchell. He messed yeah. up too. So, yeah. Yeah, so right there, I agree with you. But some of the so opinions that like you said, is we don't know. That's what I'm trying to say to you. We don't know when a okay, 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 okay. Collins Smith, okay, Collins Smith, Collins, okay, Collins Smith. He lost his O, and he, he I, I ain't gonna say he, Canelo beat the fuck out of him, but Canelo dominate the man. But look yeah. how Collins Smith looked in the fucking 175. That's because he looked bad. Wrecking ball. He fucking knocked out two motherfuckers back to back. Hey, and hey, Collins Smith. Thomas, uh, uh, um, sorry, YB, let me finish. Yeah, I'll let you talk. Yeah. I mean, look at Carlos Min, what he did. And for me, Carlos Min will still be a fucking oh, threat. The See, I think, I think the difference with me is not, not saying that he wasn't a good fighter. I say this all the time. Styles make fights. If I can pick a style that I know, it may look good to everybody. I went all the way up to 175. That's big time. But that was the right style for me. Mm -hmm. But I know not to fuck with that one. Like better be, I know not to fuck with that one. That style is not good for me. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Put him in there. Nah, he ain't gonna get that's what it, no 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 he ain't nah, going that way. Style. He ain't going that way. Nah, it does no no, nah, it doesn't give a shit. You gotta put okay. him in there. If the man got if the man got the confidence to fight the man, fucking put him in there. Doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't I'm matter. We ain't fucking gonna they're, they're gonna. It does, yeah, if Canelo wants to fight me, bro, get his ass beat again. Fuck it, doesn't matter. No, I said better care. be. He ain't gonna fuck with better be. I don't care if, if Canelo wants to fuck with better be. Okay, okay, it's, but fuck it. 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 If, 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 if Burby gets his uh, Burby beats the fuck out of Canelo, that's Canelo shit. It's fuck it, that's your fight. Happen, we, we just want to see good fucking fights. It ain't gonna happen. You never know what can happen. We don't know what's gonna fucking happen. That's but that's still, bro. Forty some year old Triple G in that bitch. That's why. Because I get the same amount of money. I get the same amount of money. Fuck what these people want. I'm trying to get this money. What up, Uncle Jay? I ain't mad at him because that's the new. That's that's what I'm telling you. I don't like the shit because boxing fucked up now. You missing what I'm saying? Y'all missing the point. It ain't just him. The boxing it's everybody is getting fucked up. Thank you. Like like I said, like I said, but he time. just happened to be the the big man though. That's the difference. He just like happened I, to be the new Mayweather of the fucking boxing. Man, for, look, look, I, I agree for Mayweather, but Mayweather did have good fucking fights. We cannot say that fucking no, pretty boy did pretty, all the dirt, pretty boy did all the dirty work, bro. Now, yeah, pretty boy. When he got when he became money man, you know, it was hey. Yeah, was yeah, cool. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, money, 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 no made, money made, money made fucked, fucked it did. up. Yeah. Yeah. But and like I'm saying, but no he more. did he did but when he was money man, he did he fought he beat my Don. Goodwin, went Goodwin. He be Canelo. He still, it, at the same time, he stayed true to himself. Any fight that y'all thought was close, like Madonna, 
he went back in there and showed you. He stayed true to himself. But even when he, he was, might have picked him, but he stayed true to himself. Even though. when he was pretty ball, he still couldn't. He did all the dirty work, and Bob Arum never gave him the fight that he wanted to be in. I mean, he, hey, I mean, never got the fights because back then it wasn't about a uh, side of the street back then. But he wanted to fight Che Mosley when he was in lightweight, right? Pretty boy. He, he wanted to unify with the other champions at 130. Bob wouldn't let no, that happen. No, but he wanted to fight Shane Mosley at yeah, 135, wanted to, right? He wanted to fight Shane at 135, but Shane was looking at the Bob big. Bob don't want to back to what I'm saying. Bob didn't want to mess his business up. Shane was Bob, looking at the Bob big can fight. Keep them away from each other. Yep. He can make more money. Shane Just was like looking right at now. the big, he big wanna fight. Move, he want to move Devin, move Shakur up. Keep keep that shit over here. Why, why make saying, them fight each other and fuck it up? And then they one of them messed up. One of them might mess the other one up. As that's the as, only. As long the, as they the, can have that old bro, that's all I'm saying. It ain't no different than Spence and fucking Charlo. They don't want that fight. Two, two of the men. Charlo up to 160, move Spence to 154. Keep making this fucking money. You understand what I'm saying? Two, you don't two, want them in there against each other and they both. That's my business. Two, two of the men. Why am I going to make my two horses fuck each other up? Yeah. Two, two of them. Our cash cows. Come on, man. We got to use. Yeah. This ain't about, like I say, this ain't about always. About the fighter, man. Let's be honest. It's a business too. You yep. ain't messing your business up. Why would you? Because two of the men, two of the men guys, Floyd was looking at at that time when they was in their primes. Understand was... the same thing on PBC. I'm sorry, gentlemen, but I'm on one right now. Understand the same okay. thing what they did with um Devin. Devin wasn't coming over there getting that fucking title and not fucking coming over there on um, ESPN. They want to keep their money. Sign yep. a two fight deal and fight over here on ESPN. Okay. Yeah, now you can do it. Same thing what they doing with Crawford. Sign a two, three fight deal. They not finna let you come over there and take their belts, bro, and fuck their business up. It don't work like that. Why be why be OD and, and coach? And, and correct me if I'm wrong. When uh when Uncle when Uncle D is speaking about, that's why I say I go back to Floyd career. You think Bob was gonna let Floyd Upset the Alpha card by beating Eric Morales or Marco Antonio Barrera, knowing mm -hmm. that he had three fights and made money off of them guys in them in mm -hmm. that trilogy. He wasn't gonna let that. He wasn't gonna let Floyd, even though Floyd was a top ranked fighter. But that was a big. That was a big. That was the bigger names at that time in the sport of boxing, and that was bigger fights at that time. Like that. He wasn't, yeah, gonna, he, wasn't, he wasn't gonna let that. He wasn't gonna upset that. He won't let Floyd upset the apple card because he knew Floyd was gonna beat both them guys. But he looked at he looked at like Uncle D said, it's a business. What makes business sense at that time? Floyd getting in the ring with either either one of those guys, or these guys fighting each other, and then they Mexican, and they got and, and, and they got a country behind them. You know what I mean, but they were they were yeah, in away. They were they were in Bannerway when they fight each other. See no, these but they want people on the chat. They they got their panties all in their asshole when they, you say they, something. Uh, it ain't even about him. It's about OD. everybody. They fought they that super bantam weight. They fought that feather well featherweight, and they fought that super featherweight. Nah, it was only featherweight and bantamweight. They had three fights. One in that I last fight, the last fight was one thirty. But at, at the time, Florida got tired of just staying around, and he been in that weight class so long. So he moved up to thirty five for Mosley. And Moses was looking at the De La Hoya fight because that was a bigger money what, fight. What, what, what about when he fought Jose Luis Castillo? He was in one thirty-five, right? Yeah, but that Castillo was a, was a good, good, good fighter, but he didn't have that name like a Morales or a Barrera at that time. The same thing with Marquez. They overlooked Marquez. Oh, okay, but when the when the when the last trilogy, trilogy happened, two thousand and four, right? Barrera yeah. Morales. Yeah. Okay. They were, yeah. Okay. Maybe with the in two thousand and four. What what uh what because he was going Jonathan he wasn't gonna stay in one thirty forever he would drain his fucking body down yeah but that's Mayweather the name. Is big. Mayweather is big Morales compare Morales and Morales they're little small fighters bro but, but Mayweather was, wasn't gonna stay I know I know what you mean but they fought in Bantamweight and they fought in featherweight and Mayweather in two thousand and fucking four what what he was at now he was what in one forty and one thirty five. Uh, it might have been around the time he fought Gotti, somewhere around there. Okay, that's Walter. 40. That's Walter. So he fought, 
Yeah, like Woto, yeah. So how how Morales and Barrera, they had to jump like fucking three weight classes to fight this man. That shit don't make sense. But the thing about it, Eric Morales, Eric Morales. But you got to remember, Eric Morales lost the fight to the. Eric Morales lost a fight to Zahir Rahim, and that fight was in the super super featherweight lightweight category. You mean you mean Barrera? See, that's why I respect no, Eric Morales. 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 See, I, I respect Floyd because Floyd came from one. No, wait, 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 wait. Rasim Ra Rahim, the, the 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 um. I think he was from the, Philly. Oh no! Okay, my bad, my Correct. bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah. I think that was. I, I, thought, I thought you said Nassim, Nassim. I thought you said Nassim. My bad, man. No, my so bad, my bad. Right here, Raheem, he was Olympian. Right here, Raheem. That, was his, that was his biggest win on his career, and that was it after that. You never heard none from him again. Morales yeah, loved that fight. But the only thing I'm seeing with Uncle D's piggybacking on is a business more so than a matchup and competition when it comes to these exactly. guys. You know what I'm saying? You know, some of these guys there, back man. in the day, they wanted to be attached to a specific, specific fighter in their career to to boost their profile. That's why and I mentioned even, Barrera. That's why I mentioned Barrera and uh Morales because to be honest, those two guys Bruce Manny Pacquiao profile. Yeah, but Manny Pacquiao around that time Manny Pacquiao yeah, wasn't one twenty. I can agree with that. Yeah, they boost his profile when he yeah. fought them. Oh two yeah, guys. they boost the profile. Yeah, that too. Yeah, and I will get Canelo one. I will get Canelo this man. I can remember when and this goes back to what we're talking about. Um, De La Hoya and them didn't want him to fight Laura, but Canelo wanted to fucking fight. So I got respect for him when he did that. See, that was an example of what we're talking about, the business side. They didn't think that was a good fight for him, in which it wasn't. And he really lost that fight. Now he damn sure didn't win it. You can give him a draw. I mean, you want to give him that, but he damn nah, sure didn't win I think, it. I think I had I him that, I, I, he I knew he lost with too. Body shots. I ain't know he, he won. He didn't win too. You know, look at the D. reaction, Uncle D. I gotta give you your props. You've been, you've been, you've been talking about this for months. I don't want to get off the topic because it's a good topic and stuff that y'all uh talking about. But you was right, Uncle D. I gotta give you your props. You was exactly all right. All I heard was cap from D. To be honest, with that jig, <laughs> he been saying for Why months. Why you doing me like that, OD? <laughs> he been saying for months. I was put on. Y'all better pay attention to oh, Jake boy, Paul. Pudo. I mean, I'm Jake Paul. Jake, Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He said something about Jake Paul that yeah. he get, he gets a lot of pay per views he, and all that yeah. shit because he's an internet success guy. That's it. Because the hey. reason why the reason why I'm saying that when Uncle D piggyback when he went to the business, of course, it's not the boxing competition that we want to see. But look who he's getting in the ring with. He getting in the mm -hmm. ring with. Hall of Fame fighters from combat sports. He went from Woodley to one of the greatest in silver. Hey, Woodley, and, Woodley, and he's already talking about either. And he's already talking about he going down and wait to fight Nate Diaz. Mm -hmm. You know, you know how them fights gonna sell. Huh. And you know you're gonna be right there on there watching it. And then I'm not you're wondering. Listen, I'm not. I don't, don't have look, no choice. The box is doing the same thing. I don't. I, I know. But well, I don't watch. Why would I watch him? The box is doing the same thing. Why I'm not gonna do it for them if I can do it for the box? Well, how the hell? Okay, not the real okay. ones. So, so wait, wait, wait. So, Arrow Nugas, it wasn't a fucking good fight. Who for both of them? Legacy Arrow Nugas. No doubt. No doubt. I ain't taking away from some of the fights, man. I'm saying. Okay. Nugas. Okay. So, so, so who else? Um. Oh, it was who a lot of good fight. I like the fun door. What, what about Caleb Plant and Anthony Durrell? You think it's going to be a good fight? I think it's a good fight, but it's also a fight that mm. really means nothing to me. It's it like does, it is a, I, I, I know, I know, I know that I know the sports turn into a fucking business, and so it always been like that. But yeah, we missing big fucking fights. You, and but you're right, we I'm all saying, missing big OD. fights. Oh, we got one this you weekend. Respect, you don't. You you might not like what I'm saying, but what I'm finna tell you is, Jake Paul is going to eventually. I said this to Jonathan now. Before you know it, I'm telling you, I give it three years. He gonna fight Canelo. No, he ain't. <laughs> no, laugh. I don't. Not an active. Not an active Canelo. Laugh. Nah, nah, nah. Probably couldn't. Probably retired okay. Canelo. Probably okay. retired Canelo. 
but not fucking active Canelo. Okay. Like Pooh say, nah, 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 nah. Come on, come on, Mister. It come on, these y'all do his thing. Canelo's different. You know, he's from the old school. They yeah, up, do his thing, bro. Like Floyd. That he got in there with Floyd. They don't care. They don't care about losing to the best fight in the world. That's their sport. But if he get him in the okay, okay, ring, okay, 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 you okay, watch okay. It. Look, Floyd, yeah, no, do, they, yeah, Floyd did that first. Floyd oh, never did that surfing time with with Conor McGregor. And I'm like, what the fuck? And look what Pacquiao doing at fucking 41 or 42 years old, not beating Adrian Broner and not fucking dropping Keith Thurman. Who you gonna give with more respect, Pacquiao or Mayweather? It don't matter now, though. They are old. It's a no, it doesn't matter. But look what Pacquiao did to Keith Thurman. Hey, that was impressive. Hey, first of all, I respect Pacquiao because Pacquiao fought everybody except for Crawford. He fought everybody. Yeah, you know, but oh, I can't but say I'm... nothing about I can't say nothing, and I don't even know how that was because I think Bob had a lot to do with that too. I don't think that was a problem, Pacquiao. Just like, for example, I say the same thing, you know, but people don't like that. I say the same thing about Loma. I think Loma, I, I just can't see a person, yes, okay, for the business. Yeah, he took that belt. It wasn't like it was his mandatory. But he went and did something. But the thing, the thing you got to realize about him is, look how many times people have put somebody and kept calling his name out like they did with Rigandall. Yes, Rigandall was smaller. He didn't want the fight. He don't even take credit for that win. But they, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. They, 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 they yeah, but hold on. But yeah. they begged him to make. They made him make that fight. Everybody was saying he wouldn't fight him, and Rigandall kept calling him out. So yeah, that's one example. The mm -hmm. other thing is Tiafimo. Tiafimo act like he didn't want to fight him. He even gave his fucking purse up to Tio. Yep, he did. So how can I say this dude is afraid? I can't. And yeah. then after he nah, lost, yeah, I remember, I remember. he went back and fought the same dudes that gave Tiafimo the most hell, Nakatali, all them. Man, come on, man. I can't. I can't see. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Yeah, I remember everybody used to say, "Oh, uh, Reagan Dons will fucking beat Loma up because." But see, he you, don't you have the same saying? protection. My OD, that was my whole point. He don't have that same fan base for people to sit up, for example, and ride for him. Like people gonna ride for Canelo, and I don't have no problem with that. But I'm just saying. I mean, I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, I don't. Look, I don't. Uh, real recognize real. The business. That's I mean, the I don't. The boxing business is fucked up. You can call it what you want to call it. I'll write. I'll I'll write with all the fighters, bro. Look, I respect what Loma, I respect what my dude did, bro. He became a three uh, uh division champion. Respect Canelo too. He's a four division champion. Respect for Arrow. Respect for Crawford. All these fucking fighters, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like you're saying, bro. They only yeah. they only give credits to certain fucking fighters. You gotta give do credit to some of this fucking fight. You couldn't do this shit when I was coming up. Them dudes, man, Hearns and Sugar Ray and come on. I know, man. I know, I know, I know. I was gonna tell I was gonna tell you about that. I was gonna tell you about that. That shit had to you, when I was going up. Yeah. If those motherfuckers they didn't give a fuck about yeah, okay. The money was there. They were gonna make their millions, but these motherfuckers they were fighting for pride. And we cannot only forget we only no promotion I, I, going on. We ain't got nobody even talking. Can't nobody even tweet. Niggas is on lock. Them niggas can't even tweet about each other. They do it all the time. What are you talking about? Nah, they ain't tweeting about each other. All the fucking time. I'm talking about I'm talking about the fight that everybody wants. You know what fight I'm talking about, Earl and what what happened? They all they, what they yeah, man, I, look look man, what that they fight, at? bro. That, that fight. I mean, I like told everybody you what they said, waiting on, bro. They gonna get I mean, Thurman finna get a fight. That's the only reason That's he's staying around. He, he gonna get one of them fights. It's gonna either be Thurman and Bud, or it's gonna be Thurman and Spence. It's gonna be Thurman and Spence. Okay. Jeez. Okay. That's gonna, that's gonna happen, bro. I mean, I don't even think it's gonna know. be Thurman and Spence. I think it'll be Thurman and Stanionis before it'll be Thurman and Spence. <laughs> <laughs> you may, may be right, but man, I know. I don't right. know. I don't. I, we don't know what Crawford wants. But some people say this, some people say that, they that he rejected a million. They gonna tell you something. They gonna do Thurman just like they did poor nigga. You lost. We feeding you to that motherfucking dog over there. That's what they gonna do. And then if he beat him, then you might get the fight. The timing is right. At least they gonna think it's right. But it ain't gonna help because I think his body in better condition than fucking Earl body probably. But he up there in his age, but I don't think he's gonna be because he lived that boxing life like Floyd. And I think that's gonna be where he ain't gonna age out what they thinking. Hey, look, 
the clock is ticking for this motherfucker because the year's on the year's almost over. Man, that shit ain't gonna it, happen, man. That's it ain't gonna happen. That shit popping up. That's why it's already starting to pop up with or without. With or without. They're telling you right there. I don't care. Man, you know how many fights we've seen? I, I know, you know bro, 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 I'm, not, I'm not gonna be tripping for one fucking fight that I'll be right back, fellas. Happen. There, there, all this food, everybody's tripping for that fucking fight. Me, I stopped big, talking about it. Mean? I stop. No, wait up. I stop. I mean, as a boxing fan, why well, I'm gonna trip about one fucking fight? I ain't gonna trip it. Yeah, if the fight fucking happens, if it, it if it happens, it happens. If it's not, fuck it. Up to the next fucking fight. We're gonna watch next weekend. Hey, you OD, know what I'm saying? Od, that shit run every motherfucking social media website. I know. I know. That's why I don't even <laughs> fucking. Yeah, I don't want to even fucking see it. When it comes to YouTube, I don't want to fucking hear it. I'm just saying, bro. Like, look. What's gonna happen? Okay, Canelo Triple G. It Canelo Triple G this week. Fuck it. I'm gonna watch it. Next week, Chakur versus Robertson Concepcion. I'm gonna watch it. Great fight. The following week, uh, yeah. Following week, um, um, the, I mean, in October, I think they're gonna fight Deontay Wilder and, and Hellenius. I'm gonna watch it. And it, it keeps going on every fucking week of fucking boxing. Every weekend. Some weekends not. Some weekends uh, they are. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying, fan. for one fucking fight, fight, for one fucking fight. You got the Crawfords fan and you got the Arrow fans. With all due respect, talking shit back and forth, bro. Say you already, you already fucking, you already broke out the game. How the fight's gonna fucking happen? What can happen? This and this and that and this. But does that's enough, guys? If the fight's not gonna happen, there's no time to fucking cry about it. Just no, it's not I, gonna it be. It goes the, back to what I said. You said it's gonna be the. It's gonna, gonna be the. Hold it's on, gonna be you this. said you're going to watch every fight. I'm right with you. I'm going to watch every yeah. one of them fights like you. But what you're missing is, why wouldn't I watch Jake Paul fight? They all doing the same damn thing. Hey, kid, look, Mr. Miss, miss, miss D. Why I'm not going to watch me. his, though? That's what yeah, I want. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't watch trolls. <laughs> I'm just saying, that ain't for me. For me, it's boxing fighting. Okay. Not, not fucking an internet troll. You, 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 I didn't watch the fucking what's it called? Uh, the Adrian Peterson versus Levon Bell. Why am I fight? I'm gonna watch that shit. Hey, I, man, I, man, I prefer man, watching. I, pre I prefer. I prefer watching. I prefer watching Sonny Edwards, a hundred and twelve pound fighter, versus somebody in a hundred and twelve pound fighter for unified champion. I prefer Put watching that shit than that shit. Put him on the same night as Jake Paul. Let's see how that turn out. Yeah, I know. Everybody's gonna watch that shit. For me, as a boxing fan, I'm going to watch Sonny Edwards and motherfucking whoever's going to fight with him. It doesn't matter who it is. I'm going to watch that fight. They're watching the fucking troll fighting. Damn, that's I'm with you, bro. Fight. I hate Sonny Edwards, too, but I would watch Sonny Edwards before Jake Paul's ass. Yeah, that's that's fucking me. I'm not going to watch no fucking troll fight. I'm not going to watch fucking a, a, a YouTuber knocking down a basketball player or a football players. No, I ain't gonna watch I that am. shit. That ain't for me. For me, I it's am. fucking boxing who fucking fighters started since they were five or seven years old, put their legs off and busted their ass where they're gonna be so fans like me worth money to watch them. Not to watch a fucking dumbass Jake Paul to fight. But that's me. If whoever wants to watch that show, that's y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm just speaking my fucking opinion of a view. Or, or I can call that boxing. fucking. That's what they done yeah, in boxing, though. If you got, talk that shit, bro. If you, got people, if you got them people to watch you, man, it, it ain't. It, hey, if I could do it like you could, hey, if I could start watching and make you know make them stop and make the right people fight, I would do that too. But that don't work. It doesn't work. Yeah, because look. <laughs> This man okay. make more money like, than like, in boxing. He the cash. Look, guy. okay, okay, cap. okay, okay. Let's say, let's say this. Let's say what, this. What this. cap? Cap on what? On oh, Jake Paul makes more money than uh the rest of everybody. He ain't, yeah. he ain't the cash yeah. cow, bro. No, yeah. he ain't. Who make more money than Jake Paul? Uh, fuck, I can mean, name you five and fighters. Boxing, and boxing, and boxing, Canelo makes more than him. And AJ does boxing. too. And AJ boxing. does too. I'm talking about, I'm talking about boxing. I'm not talking about the money he makes in YouTube. Yeah, he, I, he, I think his network. It's bigger. The and, fucking and that's um, why they going That's what they follow. They, go they for him. <laughs> network is big. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I ain't saying it's right. Yeah, but that's what they follow. Yeah, but Jake Paul, Jake Paul's network is big. Then Canelo and that's Triple G, Yeah, that's all I'm saying. They follow it. 
I'm like, yeah, hey, I don't like this shit. Do you think I don't want to see like like we talking about? Okay, put them on the same night as fucking Earl and and, and Crawford. Put them on the same night as fucking Canelo and Benavidez. I bet you want nobody to turn that fucking channel on the Jake Paul in. Yeah, they would for Canelo. They would. No, the Mexican. No, no, no. The Mexican. I mean, I mean, hold on, Pedro. Let me let me correct him. I said, put Jake Paul on the same night as Benavidez and Canelo. Motherfuckers won't watch Jake Paul. I said, put him on the same night as Earl Spence and Crawford. Motherfuckers yeah. won't watch Jake Paul. But you gotta yeah. put some real motherfuckers in there. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you put them motherfuckers up there with cupcakes. That's all you're going to keep getting. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Nobody would ever watch Jake Paul over Canelo. Okay. That's just that's just is what it is. But they watching. No, that's the truth, bro. You're saying that, but they watching, bro. Yeah, they're only, watching Jake Paul, but now not, not against Canelo fight. Yeah, I only, I yeah, only Canelo chose, ain't got only schedule chose. on the same night. Okay, no, 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 no. no, if, no. If, if, if Jake Paul got a date, you better find another one. How much? Yeah, it's vice versa, man. Wait, they, wait, they, wait, if wait, Canelo wait, got a fight, wait, you move it. Wait, 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 yeah, put up, put up. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Okay, how much Jake Paul made his last pay per view versus Worley? Like 200? 200 pay per view buys, right? Two hundred thousand pay per view buys. Okay, okay, okay. He okay. he I made think, he made around there. He made around there. Canelo, how much he made with we both fight? Almost fucking five hundred and twenty million. Five hundred twenty. Thousand, my bad. Five hundred twenty thousand pay per view buys. A guy that wait up, fans like us, we know who Bebo is. For casual fans, they don't know who fucking Bebo is. For me, I would like. Man, I seen, that's I seen a seen Isaac Cruz before before on um, Valenzuela fight the other day. I seen that nigga tell Valenzuela, uh, "You got to do something to get you know, to get a fight with me." I'm like, motherfucker, what you did besides fourteen? But that's hey, where man. we at. That's where we I know, had, but who who started who started saying all that shit? Who started man. saying that shit? Who started who started saying that shit in the beginning? We we did, hey, you need to fight this guy so you can fight me. It was Floyd, and then Canelo says it, then Tank says but, but we it. All these motherfuckers be saying it. Doing it. Everybody hated that though. He ain't wrong they though. Hated they hated no, that. No, no, not Pudo, 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 Pudo. ain't even done that yet, Pudo, bro. Pudo. Pudo, Mayweather, yes, when he was saying when Mayweather was saying that shit, bro. Yeah, he would get me like, okay, you don't want to fight Kid. He's telling Kid go fight fucking Arrow, and then he said to Arrow, go win a champion, and then fucking Canelo say, go win this, go win that. But sometimes, yes, I understand. All these guys need to stop fighting each other because they got responsibilities. That's what I said yesterday. Everybody needs to stop fighting each other. Don't worry about one fucking man. What would happen, Facts. fucking, or God forbid, that Canelo will fucking die in a fucking plane crash or fucking car, uh, or fucking die in a car crash and shit like that? Would you just depend on this fucking man? Nah, fool, y'all, y'all need to fucking do a, a fucking, y'all have to go in circles fight, and man. fight each other. I can't argue with you, man. That's the problem. No, that's the that's problem. It. I just want to fight. That's all I'm saying. And the only way we're going to get rid of the Jake Pauls and these football players fighting each other is put the real motherfuckers in there because motherfuckers ain't got time to watch that bullshit when they fighting. When the real people fighting, unless they want to get on an undercard or some shit, you know, we wouldn't have time for that shit. That's all I'm saying. People are sitting there watching these fights because it ain't no better than the fucking fight they seeing. They don't know them little dudes. I, I You're a real boxing fan. I'm a real boxing fan. I love the undercard. But to the average fan, if they don't know them, yeah, they're going to go turn what, what they know. They're going to turn to what they know. Uh, and that's who they know. I, mean, just, I don't like it, but that's that's the way this shit works. I mean, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. I, I, I don't know, but I just I don't pay at attention. At the end of the day, to like I said, I just, want, I just want a good, I just want the good fights, man. Like, like, right? Like, okay. Ass. I I, oh, I, okay. I, mean, I don't when them dudes fight when the real dudes fight I'm gonna be honest with you if it's some bullshit and I feel like for example I know it's some bullshit and you fighting some bullshit I'm not gonna fucking goddamn buy it now, okay what about when, what when about Uga's you and fought, Joshua when Uga's fought I pay for it I'll if pay for it too Joshua fight when Fury and Joshua fight I will pay for it I will pay for it too I will pay for it yeah but I mean that that's even if Fury was to fight Usyk, Fury was to fight fucking Wilder again, I pay for it because I know that they're top level fighters, 
and they really want to fight, and they're all still up there, even if you fight Ruiz. You yeah. know, I, I got respect for any of them top dudes, but I'm talking about if he's sitting up, for example, talking about fighting some fucking dude that I don't fucking know with fucking five, six losses, and where this motherfucker come out of? You know, I, where he come from? Yeah, he gonna fight him. No, I can't. I can't support that, man. It's too many. You think about what? Just, just pause for a minute and think about all the fighters you know from fucking one thirty to one forty. None of them bitches fighting each other. Just think how many it is though. That could. No, the only, I know, I know what you mean. Possible. Nobody. No. No. I mean one forty. And I do respect Mr. Mid, 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 Regis, Regis, Regis is a fucking fight that can't get nobody to fight him. He found he's a, he fight fight. But yeah, wait, he wait. Got a good fight. That's a great fight. That's a Peter fight. But I'm just saying, he's been there. He's been fucking just sitting on a rock for the longest. But he went to war with Josh Taylor. Yes, he's fucking... he been, he been fighting since then. He's been on Jake Paul undercars and shit. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm trying to say, bro. They put him on the shelves. Okay. He, okay. Re, re, no, no, no. Regis went to PVC for one fucking fight. And he wanted the Broner or he wanted the Tank fight. One of those two. But it couldn't happen, bro. And they couldn't give him that fucking bar, fight. Bar, bar, so, you know, so you know what he said? Fuck that. These fools ain't want to give me my fight. A fight. Well, I'm going to bounce. But Regis, he fought against who? Uh, hey, in that fucking undercard. I like Regis, man. I like Regis because he one of them dudes that want it. And he'll tell you. He, he's honest. Like, for example, he didn't say he going to 147. He said, I'm going to stay right here. Oh, like, hell yeah. Wait. Definitely. Fuck it. All these you motherfuckers know, are going up there. Man. I look. Yeah. I don't know. He knows he, everybody. He's the best, but I know that whoever get in there with him, they're going to have they gonna have a fight on their hand. And I respect any fighter like that. No, 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 no. R Regis, he, he's good. And Regis don't have to move in 147. He's good where he at. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's good where he at. Ryan, I mean, look. Let's say he fights fucking Jose Pedro. Beats a Pedro. Takes the WBC champ and wins the WBC cha WBC That's a big champion. Ass fight too, man. Okay, Tio, Haney, Ryan. I, man, fuck they Ryan. No, 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 no. Fuck Ryan. Don't even mention fucking Ryan. Only Tio, Why not? Haney, he's Haney, fighting Haney. as well. He's already fought yeah, twice so this year. Ryan, 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 Ryan only gives a fuck about Tank, bro. He always had fucking wet dreams about Tank. So. Fuck Ryan. I don't give a fuck a lot about people Ryan. Fight. 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 A lot of people want to see that fight. A lot of people want to see that fight. Ryan. Fuck Ryan. Tank. If Tank wants to move to one forty. It doesn't matter who it is. They still got to fucking go to a lot of monsters in that 140 division. Exactly. Jack Kettler got still there. Josh Taylor, we don't know what's going to fucking happen to him. Regis, Jose Ramirez is still a threat. If Jose Cepeda loses against Regis, because I got Regis' favor against Jose Cepeda, but you never know what's going to fucking happen in that fight because Jose Cepeda changed everything in his fucking uh, style game. There's going to be problems for Haney. For Teal, if for Tank. Simple as that. Hey, 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 OD, OD, you not a big fan of my boy Ryan, bro? Because I, I, I like Ryan. I think Ryan got hands. No, I don't like, I don't, I don't Ryan like Ryan. Oh, excuse bro. me. And just think about that, OD, what you just were saying, what y'all was talking about. And Josh Taylor is dropping the belts, and he's sitting on one belt left. Two of the major belts yeah. are on that PBC, going to be on that PBC side. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what's they're already name, there. Uh, they're already uh, there. What's, what's the name? Uh, what's who? Who's they gonna fight? Who's gonna fight again? For, for, who, from the IBF or the WBA? Matias and Ponce. Yeah, Matias and Ponce. Correct. Matias and Ponce. Yeah. Is that Zapata and um Regis for a belt? WBC. Yeah, for the WBC. Okay, good, good. Zapata. One of them deserves. One of them You never, you never, you never know on Uh, they were saying that that Zapata uh Regis fight is not even gonna be on uh top rank or ESPN. More than likely, it's gonna be on the zone. It's a Marv Nation card, actually. Yeah. Be, so who knows? Know? The winner, the winner, the winner. They work with the gold. They work with Golden Boy, Marv Nation. Uh, yeah, they yeah. work with Golden Boy. They work with Golden I'm Boy. They're gonna have that fight in the zone. I'm yeah. glad to see one of them guys get a belt because they both been right there. They, you know, at the top for a long time, and you know they getting in there with each other. You know that that's what I mean by like what you're saying, um, Odie. You know, it doesn't have to be for the belts, but I, I just want to see the top fighters that are trying to get to that next level and they're willing to fight each other to get to that next level. And Zapata and Regis are right there. They've proven that. Many people can sit up and say, Regis, if he wasn't over in Europe, he probably wouldn't have lost that fight. Hell, 
Nah, he I mean, the draw. Nah, nah he, he, he lost. He lost. He lost that yeah, fight. It was a good fight, it. though. It was a yeah, good yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm 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 break it down. I'm gonna break it down. How that fucking fight happened? I had Regis first to the first to the ten swing rounds. Could have go either way. Championship round. That's why I Josh say the Taylor. fight could have went either way. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But championship championship rounds. That's when Regis messed up. Josh Taylor took over the championship rounds. To yeah. one to ten, it was all fucking swing rounds, man. Because they were throwing bombs. They were fighting in the inside. It was it was candidate five the year. I don't know who they give it to. I think Inoue and um uh, and Donaire. But that yeah. fight was the fight of the year for me. I don't give a fuck what people say. It was an out out war for Regis. Fucking let go of the fucking gas. They wasn't throwing no more punches in the championship rounds. That's why I was like, fuck. I was going for Regis. And for me, Josh Taylor, he has one of the best on the speed of runs of the four bear era. Because he was an underdog when he was gonna fight with his name on uh, Ryan Martin. If I'm Ryan Martin, right? Everybody, he made his name right there. If you're if you're a boxing fan. But Josh Taylor yeah. beat Regis Progress. Hell yeah, he did. Hell yeah, he did. He I, did. I watched it. I did a rewatch on that fight. He beat him. He beat him. Uh, uh, me I like thought, eight. I thought. I mean, I thought. I thought. You know, with the crowd and everything. Anytime he made, you know, it was, a, you know, pro um European crowd, and I just thought, me personally, you know, it was a split decision. So that lets me know, you know. It's just the way it is. It ain't no different than a lot of the, you know, Cuban guys like Ugas when he fought Porter. I thought Ugas won. But, hey, it happens. I've been watching them get robbed for a long time. I watched Laura beat Paul Williams, but they gave it to Paul It was Paul no robbery, Williams. though. She is. It was just a close fight. What was a close fight? <laughs> All the ones you were mentioning. She is. Because I, I had Sean you know, Porter winning, but I, I wasn't, like uh, I wouldn't have been mad if Ugas would have, if, and, if and Ugas would have got the decision. Thing. That's another Just thing. The fight, knockdown, yeah. it was a knockdown. That's another thing. Did the ref call it? No, he didn't. I mean, I'm not. Okay, then that's the, that's the only no, way it could no, be a knockdown. I'm saying it was a punch. I'm saying it was a punch. No, I know. I, I I I get you. But I'm if the not, referee I'm don't call arguing. it, if he misses oh, it, if he, he for whatever it. reason, it's not a knockdown, so you can't that. count it. I got that. I get that. It's like it was, it's like what Sam Judah dropped. It is what it is. They didn't count. They didn't count it. It is what it is. You know, it happens. But you know, you 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 asking me to judge the fight. And I'm not judging the fight. If I was judging the fight on that, then he lost too, because obviously he lost because the referees gave it to him. So I know he lost. I'm not saying, the ref, as my perspective through my eyes, it was a knockdown, and he beat his mm -hmm. ass through my eyes. That's what I'm telling you. No, I, I get it. I mean, I just disagree. But I'm just saying. I mean, uh, I mean, just the way I do it. I, I, I score it the way it's supposed to be scored. I can't just give him a fucking um, a knockdown if it wasn't called. You know, just. I understand. I ain't gonna What's up, Mark? But what I'm saying is, if you get punched in the fucking in the face, even if even if a ref, for example, it's a ten count, and the referee fucking give you ten seconds, and then he go over there and start talking to somebody, and then come back and start back counting and shit, you know, you you know what the fuck going on? You know, I, I see too much dirty shit, just like Victor Postal getting. Stopped. Yeah, the fighter needs to stay in his neutral corner, gets, so the ref doesn't have to come in and seconds. tell him. You, you you say the man got knocked out, but he on his feet, and it ain't number ten seconds left in the fight, and you stop the fight for ten seconds. You know, come on, man. That shit yeah, but it's a ten count. You know, it's on the ref, no, no, and no, you have to stay I'm in your neutral I'm corner. About, what y'all talking I'm about? I'm giving an example of Victor Postal when he fought, for example. Um, we're talking about we're talking uh, about like we were yeah. talking about Regis and Josh that uh that it could be a drop because he said he was in 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 their, in Europe. He was in England. When that fight yeah, happened, it could have been a draw. If it wasn't in nah. it would have been either a draw no. or either oh, no. he a draw between the right. who and Shutter. A draw between who? Taylor. Regis. If that fight was in the U.S., it would have been a draw, or Regis would have won. It was already a split decision in Europe. There's no way to get I, mean, I, I, I thought it could have went either way. I, I had exactly. to fight a draw. Like, exactly. yeah. That's all I'm saying. Nah, nah, Regis yeah, I, I, I got to agree with Uncle D. I had Regis winning. Nah, nah. Josh won that fight, bro. But it was very close. I ain't tripping. But you hear that? It's three It's three different scorecards right here, OD. So that tells you all you need to know. No, I watched that fight like plenty of fucking times, bro. It was swing rounds to the first to the ten. But in the oh, ten in the championship rounds, like I told these guys again, that's when Regis let go of the gas, bro. He wasn't throwing a lot of punches. Josh in the fucking championship round took over. 
respect that's OD. What, I disagree. Yeah. I thought Regis OD. won the 11th and the 12th. Nah, but, 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 I don't remember, but I know Regis isn't strong. It was Josh Taylor ahead. who won the fucking championship rounds. It wasn't hey. Regis, bro. We were watching it again. Regis we wasn't all, throwing enough. We all but look, look okay, even, in that, even in that, bro, if we rewatch the fight, I'm going to tell y'all, bro, Josh Taylor can, and I like Regis, bro. He's right out here in Houston. But, man, look, he, he lost that fight, bro. I you feel know. you, but it's a lot of things that was going on. You know, it's I a lot reached. of things. Let me let me give you some examples. It's a when you when you judging these fights, for example, you know, we all looking at different things. It ain't no different than YB when I when I was telling y'all like, people people are saying that Crawford was down. I'm like, ain't no fucking way he was down, you know, before he knocked them out. And even when everybody say they told him he was down before the ring, and you also seen him say how. How the fuck am I down? How? But everybody has their perspective on what they see. When I seen the Josh Taylor fight, I'm going to tell you what I saw. And this is how Josh Taylor, because I thought Josh Taylor, to be honest, was that dude until I seen him fight Jack Catterall. And I saw somebody control him. So what I'm trying to say is when he fought Regis, he really just was dirty to Regis. He just held him a lot. And that, those are the things that you got to think about when you're fighting on another man's turf, you're allowed to hold and do things, for example, and do little dirty things, punch, you know, hold somebody behind the head and punch. I'm just saying you get away with certain things. And I'm saying even with that included, when I watch that fight, I do not see him with no clear cut victory over Regis. I watched that fight like two, three times, and I've never seen him a clear cut. Over all right. I mean, I mean, why Josh Taylor is very why, dirty. I agree. Why, why be, why be, why be? Break down the five of Regis and Josh. I had, I had Regis man up like, I mean, I had Josh up like by round 10. I had Josh up like seven, seven to three, bro. So even if Regis won the last two, I, I gave it, if it was Regis winning the last two, it was seven five for me. I had it on my car. We did a rewatch. It was like eight four, bro. Like I had, I had Josh Taylor clearly win that fight. It was, and if it was seven five, it was it was a clear cut seven five where Regis really lost that fight. I respect. Can I we respect what y'all see? I respect like that. what y'all see because I don't see the same thing. That's obvious. Can all of us But that just shows it's a close fight. That's all. Exactly, but I respect can all of us to, to to all of us together in, in one panel? Can we wa we watch that fight all of us together, and we can go round by round by round by round? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. hey, look, we already did a rewatch on my show. It was me back in the day. It was me, Q, and all of them. It was because Q was telling me Regis won. So I was like, I oh, missed that one. I remember that shit. I, I know Q want to do some some watch parties on his channel, so maybe we can ask him about that. We already did it on mine. We, we did Regis versus Taylor when, when me and him did it on here. The Q was telling Thanks, me that he, that he thought that he thought Josh he thought Regis won, and we watched it. And even Q said that that, that Josh Taylor won on the rescore. Yeah, yeah. Watch uh, it I gotta watch it. I gotta watch it again, <laughs> man. Yeah. I had to read it. We gotta, I, I can't, man, bro. I can't wait to make look it. sooner or later. Well, me I'm me make my personally, I, I couldn't split them. You you had it a draw, right, Mark? Yeah, I'm like a draw out from working. Okay, okay. Y'all wanna have it a draw, fucking. But for me, I got judged. But I wanna rewatch the fight again. Josh, I'm gonna rewatch it like the fucking seventh time already, bro. Josh was handling Regis, bro. That's a fact. But we're gonna watch it. Like Regis had his moments, but Regis came on a little too late to me. It was I'm like handling him, but I thought I'm that was just a slug fest. I ain't yeah. I ain't think he was getting I handled. He was just holding him basically. No, nobody, nobody. It was a fucking slug fest. Yeah, it was a slug fest. I ain't gonna if lie. He, he even was. when even when even when Taylor beat Ramirez, you know, he beat Ramirez ass, but every damn thing he did to Ramirez mostly for the most part. Ramirez hey, Chris, was a yeah, fucking Chris, dummy. That day. He said, Josh, Ramirez, Regis, Jack, was and everybody here that they saw that. Facts. He watched it with us. Hey, Kush, you was in the you was in the watch party, man. We watched that shit. I'm telling you, early boys out here. Look, with me, Puro, Puro was here too. It was, it was, it was uh you, it was a couple other people. But it was when only sometimes YB, and I ain't saying that I ain't saying I'm right all the time, but I'm just saying I watch fights and you be hearing me, I be sitting up saying who won around and I be different from everybody. This is the fight. Okay, I want to. They think I be being mean when I do that. They think I'm, you know, like I'm trolling or something. Like when Com um, Comey fought the last week, yeah. and everybody was like, "Nah, nah, nah." I had Comey about two, two fucking rounds going into the tenth. He couldn't lose. 
And I said, I, it's a draw, draw. I think I said it's yeah. a draw. And everybody told me I was crazy and got mad at me because they called it a draw. So, I mean, we see different things when we watch. I thought Doc Bay was a draw, too. Well, I took heat for it. Everybody was mad at me. I said, ain't no way you want. I said, it's a draw. At, at the most, they give them a draw. Yeah, that's a fact. We could we could definitely take that Regis. I don't mind watching Regis for uh, Josh Taylor again. But my man said, Armando says, the only thing I didn't like is that Josh was hitting Regis after the bell. He did. He did hit him after the bell. But Very dirty fight. Yeah, he was. Yep. Yeah. Yep, but Josh, Josh is a fucking dirty-ass fighter, bro. Yeah, he did. Josh, Josh is a dirty-ass fighter. fighter. Josh, Josh did some dirty shit. Josh, Josh did some dirty, dirty shit. in the ass fight, too. What up, Josh? Exactly. That's what I just said. You got to learn. You got to be able to control him. He is a real one. I like Josh, though. I like a fighter like that. I don't want no soft yeah. fighter. Uh, I, no, I don't no, want for no sure, soft for sure. Fighter, bro. I love the way Josh Taylor fight. He dirty. You damn right. I hated Bernard <laughs> Hopkins, but he dirty as fuck. I wouldn't better against him. I wouldn't better against that dirty bastard. You gotta be dirty back with a fighter like that. I don't that. like him. I don't like him, but I like fighting. Yeah, like hey, I wouldn't bet against that dirty bastard. That's you damn right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Tom Brady. I ain't betting against that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. I never bet against Tom Brady. <laughs> you know what? I was looking at it, man. Hey, bro, what's up, John G? Do boys not care about this Canelo fight, uh, uh, uh man? Because it's starting to seem like boys ain't got no care about it. People did, did people not want to see the Triple G fight, uh, uh, OD? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, only, 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 only the other side, of the border in Mexico, that's it. But when you went to when you went to TJ, uh, YB with Puro, what they were telling you over there? Canelo Triple G. Canelo yeah. Triple G. And I had went to Cabo not long ago, and they was telling me about Canelo Triple G. Canelo Eagle Locking. Canelo Eagle Locking. Oh, they was telling me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they were telling me. Good looking, good looking. Yeah, it's true. It's true. That what that's what problem, bro, over there in Mexico. It is a damn thing, bro. Let's say surdo beats me, bro. If I'm surdo, bro, talk all you fucking shit. That we will get fucking Canelo. You say, motherfucker, you cheated your whole fucking career. You you say hey. steroids. Say that type of shit so you can get to this motherfucker's head. You know that what? Shit don't fuck phase it. I'm the motherfuckers, OD. That shit don't no. pay these motherfuckers. They different. They strong men. No, no, they no, no. Look what, look what Triple G, look what Triple G told Canelo. And, and what, what Triple G, when, when Canelo got caught with that shit, what Triple G say? He always cheated. That's what Triple G say, right? What mm -hmm. Canelo, what happened with Canelo? He got heat up. The same way if I'm surdo, talk your shit. Motherfucker, you can throw a fucking beer, a fucking beer can to somebody while you can talk your shit. Andre tried that shit. It ain't work for him. Hey, no, nah, but I, I agree with all of no, put no. that pressure on him because no, he already no, no, came no. out okay, talking okay, about okay, I don't want to fight Andrade Mexican is fighters. I'm driving different. Look, when a Mexican and another Mexican talk to each other, she's going to hit the fucking fan. I'm, I'm just saying. And that's what Sudo has to fucking do. Mexicans, bro, we expect for you to do better. I don't know. They always like fucking, they always like fucking, they always like that. I don't know why, bro. They always been like that. But that's the fucking problem. Surdo needs to do his Mexican shit. Style, his shit. Mexican style is you a dog, man. You don't back down from shit. And Canelo represent that. That's why I stay on his ass. He I mean, Canelo, Canelo got like a fucking, I mean, Canelo. Well, he's a Mexican clean Mexican fighter. Right now, for me, if I had to say right now, y'all best fighter and yeah, he can be hit. He can be rocked. I know he can be caught, but I will have to go with Virgil. He's the one right now. Nah, nah, no, you no, know, no, no. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, Mr. I Mr. D. I told Emmanuel Navarrete before Virgil. Mr. Mr. D, Mr. D. The Paul Mims. Maybe Bam Bam, but say. he in a little class. Bam yeah, Bam I know, I know. But wait, one. wait, 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 wait. This, I don't know. This how, this how I feel. Look, I'm first generation born here. My parents are from Mexico. I was talking to this yesterday to Mark and YB where everybody was in the panel. They will not accept Virgil. They will not accept Bam. They're not going to accept Ryan. For them, they're Americans. They're, they got Mexican heritage, but they're Americans. That's what they are for them. That's how I, for them, I'm an American. For them, Chicano. I'm Chicano for them. I got you. So, I got you. I heard so, you the other so, day. I was, I so, was on so, the chat. So, so this, 
these guys they're fighting from here. They're from here. They're, you can say, oh, they're Mexican. No. Mexican, like right now, what Mark's, uh, what Mark's saying, only fighters, Navarrete, one, Canelo, Ray Vargas, uh, Monguillo, Zurdo. Uh, who else are Mexicans? Uh, they're, just, uh, they're just not ready, though. I mean, no, no. Uh, Estrada. Estrada, yeah. We're talking about Mexicans that were born in Mexico. I got Oscar Bardes, those guys, those are the only ones. But these guys, they're just American. They're not. They're not. Uh, they're not. Uh, they're not Mexican. They're Mexican heritage, but they're not. They're not Mexican. They just American. Yeah, that's that's something that uh, Henry Cejudo talked about after he won the belt. He didn't get no love from the Mexicans. They 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 treated his ass like he was a fucking foreigner. You know what I'm saying? I don't get yeah, I don't get where that comes from. That's how the way it is, bro. I, I I don't know, bro. Like I tell you, bro, it, it's a it's a trip, though. I don't know why, bro. Like it, it's like like we come from the same tribe and all that shit. And it's like what's his name? It's like what's his name with Area Spears? Remember where Area Spears made that joke? What? The the, the the time with um with the time with the with the African people come over here, how they talk shit to the other black people and shit like that. Mm-hmm. It's the same fucking way like over here. Oh yeah, you're right. They say um 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 I'm a, I, I heard this once, I can't remember who it was, but they said but he's Yeah, he said something like this motherfucker, you don't work, you don't do shit. It's the same fucking way like with us, with the Mexican yeah. Americans, with the with the, with, the, with the Mexicans, with the people that were born here like us. They even call us fucking lazy and shit. Some of them, not all of them. You know what I'm saying? I feel you on that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But like, I don't know, bro. Like, my my I, I'm a hardworking dude, bro. Cause my dad used to wake me up. My it wasn't my dad, it was mostly my mom. Cause my mom went hard for me. Go cut the fucking grass. Do this. Do that. If I wouldn't do it, the ass whooping they would gave me. But fucking, I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know because I don't pay pay attention to none of that shit, bro. I just do me. You know what I'm saying? I just go into my own fucking lane and all it that shit. It ain't your fault you was born in America. You still a Mexican. I got you, bro. No, I represent my roots. I love my fucking exactly. Mexican roots. Nah, I, I mean, love my culture. I mean, you still Mexican. I don't give a damn where you came from. Both of your parents Mexican. Yeah. Yeah. Man, my fucking phone is that way. Let me get my fucking charger real quick. I feel where you're coming from on that, though. I do. Yeah. And I know what he's saying about the fighters. They don't respect it. But what I'm saying, all I'm saying is they also, for example, probably feel like they're not Mexican, like he's saying, because he knows he knows how the shit work. But they also going to still pull them as they fans. You agree with that or not, YB? You think Ryan ain't going to have them Mexicans behind him? Man, Ryan, look, well, from what I see, Ryan got Ryan got a crazy fan base from everybody. You know what I'm saying? Ryan be pulling. I, I just don't know, man. He gonna, he gonna he gonna he gonna what I'm saying is he's gonna make sure he recognize them. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Even even Benavidez, you know what I'm saying? Benavidez gonna shout out his exactly. Latin fan base, like in Phoenix. He said shout they out may, to the LeBron. He said shout out to the Rock. They may not wanna be accepted, but if they do the right things and they keep representing that heritage, oh yeah. <laughs> They gonna get their love. That's just the way it is. I'm sorry, born here or not. If you yeah. like, like, let's say if Od was a fighter, and both his parents are Mexican, he fighting here, he's still gonna get that damn love. Ain't Ortiz American? For sure. She is. <laughs> yeah, Ortiz born here for sure. Ortiz could barely speak but, Spanish, but they love him. But they love him. Yeah, he, I mean, he's starting to get it. Uh, like, it's not the. <laughs> It's not the same. I like. I feel like he's starting to get it though. What's up, P? Come on, come on the panel, talk to him. If not, you know. But but yeah, he's starting to get it. I just don't know, Uncle D. I'm just looking at it like when you really think about it, it's tough. It's tough to say. But I feel like the you know I'm used to the buzz for Canelo to be crazy for it's fight week. What's up? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm used for the buzz to be crazy. I don't know. I'm me. I'm like damn. So see, that's what I thought when they said he didn't want to fight no Mexican. I'm, I'm like. Okay, if I'm already the best, one of the best fighters, they consider me, you know, pound for pound. What I'm a fighter Mexican for and lose all my power. I am 
what boxing is to Mexico. I ain't finna lose that to none of y'all mm. little young dudes, so you can take that. That's how I see mm. when you say you don't want no Mexican. Otherwise, we don't need to see none of these fights. We don't need to see no Shakur and Devin Haney, Tank and Devin Haney, Bud and fucking Spence. What the fuck we want to see them fight for? Put them in there too with some fucking other dudes. All right. So you think, but YB, you think he alien he alienated the Mexicans when he said that shit? You think that's why I ain't got no buzz for uh, the fight this week? Nah. No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think I don't think he ever made it. They're gonna watch that fight, man, because all them fights were close. So that fight is still gonna be a good fight. Plus, triple, were, G, plus triple G popular as shit in Mexico. I'm just being honest. Triple G when I was in Cabo and when I was in Tijuana, that's what they was talking about. That's a fact. They was talking about triple G. They was talking about Canelo versus Triple G. Everybody, I mean everybody I ran into wanted to see that fight. So like my boy Mad Dog in the chat said they're gonna they're gonna have 25 million Mexicans uh people in Mexico watching that fight this Saturday. Uh, that live there, so it ain't going. <laughs> Canelo ain't hurting. Trust me. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I've been screaming the whole time. I mean, it don't matter who you get in that with. He don't need nobody. He's the man. Hey, yo, Beats. Now, I wanted to show you that uh, if you ever want to do rescores, I found like this really cool website. Uh, they also have a YouTube channel. They do like rescores like every Sunday uh, on different uh, plat uh, different fights or whatever. But it's really cool, man. The, uh, I like the, the way they do the scoring because you always have to put a reason. Let me try hey, to check it, it out right there. Hey, there it put is, the, right there. Put, put the link in the private chat. Um, I, I got you. But do you guys see it? It's, it's right there on my avatar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to watch it sometime, though. Yeah, yeah another so, um, a site, I, a site I go to when it comes to scoring is a uh, it's a it's a site called um, Eye on the Ring. Whenever I hear it's like a controversial decision. What it does, it allows like people to post their own scores and opinions, so you could go on there and, and see other people's scores and find out what's going on. Mm. There's a couple of fights I want to go back and watch. Yeah, yeah, I want to, I want to watch a lot of, I want to, I want to see because I want to post opinions on a lot of fights that I thought. You know what I mean? It's a lot of fights I, I, I felt were like, were maybe a little bit unjust. You know what I mean? A couple of the decisions. Like yeah. like that Canelo so Lara, on the you know, ring. I thought it should have been a draw, but I also don't mind Canelo winning seven five, and I also don't mind it being split decision. I don't mind Lara winning seven five, you know what I mean. So it was one of those things where I saw I saw it could have went either way. I was watching it and I rewatched it. I said, damn, it was it was hard to score three times that I saw. I said, damn. That's all I saw too. Beans, it could have gone either way. Like literally, if they gave Lara, I wouldn't have cried robbery or anything. It was real close. See, when yeah, I look yeah. at a fight, it's it's tough because what. People can say is people can say Oscar was the aggressor, you know, and Laura ran. But if you're but if you're on the other side, you can sit up and say Laura was able to move for 12 rounds and stay on his feet and box him from the outside. So who really won the ring general shoot? Because I can tell you this, if he would have stayed still for a few minutes, Canelo would have beat the hell out of him probably. But he wouldn't stay still. And he kept jabbing him, moving side to side, you know. I mean, it, it, it to me, it was a clear win. To me. I thought well, he was, it was, I thought he was oh, frustrated. I thought he was frustrated in the fight. And after the fight, he even said, I don't want to fight him no more. If he want to fight me, he stop running, you know. It's a ring. It's a ring. He ain't got too many places to run. It's a little square ring. You could yeah, that fight was a tale of two halves, you know. But, yeah, but like I felt saying, like the second half. I feel like Laura. Though. I feel like Laura did lose a lot of the late rounds, and I did feel like the the body shot started wearing Laura down, and and you know that cut from that uppercut, he, he opened up a nice cut on Laura's face, in that uppercut, and he also he also started to impose his will on Laura a little bit in the late late la latter half of the fight. So that's a fight I, I want. Her did the same thing. Her did the same thing, and her knocked him down. But you yeah, know that's what. But you know what? Me personally, yeah. that's another fight I would love for people to go back and watch. Yeah. Her did knock him down, and her did win the last round, probably the last round or two. But yeah. he didn't win the fight. And her said after the fight, I ain't never been hit like that before. He Fact. said the hardest person ever hit me was Laura. Uh, up until he fought J Rock. That nigga was a cruiserweight. He got hit by J Rock hard. Yeah, he say, yeah, but J Rock knocked him out. You know, no, no, J Rock, J Rock just beat him. He knocked him down. It was a close fight. I mean, it was a good one. Nah, it went 12. It went 12. Uh huh. It went 12. I didn't know that. 
I, I thought yeah. he knocked him down and, and stopped him. Yeah, he knocked him down. down. I know he knocked him down. Hey, Chris, bro, but, but, hey, man, look, but you talking about Errol Spence people quiet. No, 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 no. That ain't true, bro. That ain't true, bro. We just people, the Errol Spence people probably, probably like, man, what's the hold up, bro? What the fuck? I just think they both just disappeared. Ain't no Twitter. Ain't no, yeah, y'all see he don't want to sign that contract, huh? Ain't no, nah. uh, they don't want to, they don't want to, you know, they don't want to pay me. This is what they trying to give me. Ain't none of that. You know why? Because that shit is being handled by the business. You can't that tell me two be. men, two men that was, that used to be sitting up saying, where your bitch ass at? Yeah, you know what the fuck I want, nigga. Bring that motherfucking belt, nigga. I'm coming to your shit too. What happened to all this shit? The, the, now we can't get no fucking talk. Hey, like what what Marvin Hagler no say, bro? What Marvin Hagler to Hearns? War. Yeah. And Hagler was talking his shit. Yeah, for sure. They can't say nothing. I'm telling you, that shit is in the business. It's almost like they are already on the contract. Nigga, don't say nothing else about that fucking fight. It's like they're on the country right now. We're going to let it happen when we want it to happen. And y'all ain't going to say a damn thing. Because you don't just go from just fucking talking this shit and telling this motherfucker what you're going to do and this and that. And when you see me and this and that, what the fuck you come to my fight for? I don't know why he come to my fight. Nah, don't need, nobody talk no more. And ain't nobody there to be seen. They just you, you want to see the face the earth. Both You want to see those badass... When, who, who punched who? Remember Riddick Bow Punch? In the Prince conference? Yeah. Uh, Larry Bowe? Donald. Larry Donald? <laughs> yeah. yeah I remember Larry that. Donald had a fucking chin, my nigga. Yeah, he ate that shit, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, it was bare <laughs> knuckle. He ate that shit. <laughs> he hit me, fucking Ready Bow jump out, uh, jump out of the limbo, too? That was Ready Bow. Yeah, yeah Riddick, Riddick, what Riddick Bo say? Uh, uh, um, something about uh, he said, uh, you look, you gonna look real smart when you when you get my foot out your ass, something like that. Hey, uh, Kush, hey, Uncle yeah. D, thanks. Kush said, Spence said he wasn't saying shit to the fight get made when it gets announced. They're gonna be talking shit. Absolutely, Spence. Spence, one of them type of dudes that if it ain't if it ain't if it ain't about to happen, then why am I gonna be talking about something that shit ain't ain't on the both rock? Both of them though. But both yeah. of them. I ain't saying just Spence. I said both of them. What happened to them? They ain't yeah, I know. Bud over there shooting jump shots. And Spence over there at the bowling alley. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Spence over know. there. Um, eating ice. I'm eating ice cream with my kids. And Bud over there in Houston shoot about to beat up R and B singers. Yeah, he in Texas trying to beat him up, too. He trying to get anybody out of Texas. fight dudes out here, bro, that do dance routines on the on the goddamn stage. Hey, YB, at this point, he trying to get anybody in Texas he can get. If it's going to be a singer, then it could be fucking goddamn Trey Look, look at my shirt, YB. He ain't from Texas. He trying to beat up Virginians from that that's chilling in Texas. Hey, he just he didn't know. He didn't know he was just in Texas. He was just in Texas. He didn't know. He, he got my shirt, YB. Look at my shirt, dog. Look at my shirt. Bud over there hitting some... innocent bystanders and shit. Hey, he put, he put, he uh, wanted... Bud yeah. wanted some of that Texas roll house. <laughs> nah, he, we got, we got, we got oil. We got the capital. Come and take it in Texas. Yeah, Spence ain't, ain't, ain't one of them King talk a lot. Hey, the rumor is turkey leg, the line was too long at turkey leg, and that nigga got mad. He was ready to kick somebody's ass down there in Texas. That's the rumor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did get mad at Turkey Leg. <laughs> hey, I, I would be, hey, I'm live as long as hell off of me at that hey, Turkey Leg. I'd be mad too. Hey, I keep hearing yeah. everything. Hey, Bud, say, man, man. y'all motherfuckers ain't skipped me to the front. I'm Bud Crawford. Shit, hurry up. Hey, I got to get some YB. Hey, man, that's, hey, that's all I keep good. hearing about, bro. That's yeah, all that's I keep hearing about. <laughs> that Turkey Leg are good. Hey, my man, um, my man Eric Johnson say, man, Bud, energy change. Even Stevie Wonder could see that. <laughs> hey. Why though? Why did it? He negotiating with who? Why did it change when he started negotiating? Now you know what everybody was saying that fucking Crawford um uh, with JC. Motherfucker, I haven't seen breaking news. Now people are making up shit now. Probably he'll saw his ass. Let's take a picture. But I think JC already moved to Houston too, right? Why be? Who moved to Houston? Who moved to Houston? JC. Supposedly, there was some dude from work told Man, me Jay Z moved to Houston. Well. Nah, Fifty Cent did. Uh, Jay Z got a house here because his girl from here. Man, Jay Z. Yeah, Beyonce, I know, but they say well. supposedly, 
supposedly they already moved here. Here, I'm not oh, surprised. All these that. entertainers moving to Texas. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You know that, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, bro. Like when it, if this shit do get announced, the internet gonna be like, I'm tired of it. I hate the fight. I don't want to speak on it. <laughs> as soon as that shit get announced, everybody gonna be like, man, I told y'all, bro. Yeah, Yo, your boy gonna get it now. Damn, look at Triple I just G. Wanna know, Damn. My thing, my thing is this, and I'm gonna say this. I know it sounds bad, but I just want to know how these all these these little channels gonna function that have done all this talking about Earl and Crawford. I just want to know how their social media going to function after that. Ooh. I ain't talking about A you. Lot. I ain't talking about you, YB. I'm talking about some people have just yeah. been like like just slandering the other one constantly. It's like it's like it's like it's like Paul Wall say, bro. It's like it's like slandering. Paul it, 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 it's like Paul Wall say he, he's going to have the internet going nuts. That was going to fucking happen. Yeah, I just, I just, you know, like I said, I ain't saying him, him, because he one of the ones that, you know, he let everybody discuss, you know, that's just like me. I could be sitting there right now talking about him. I'm a Bud fan. He, he, he allowed it. But some people got, nah, motherfucker, it's this way or don't come on this channel. Hey, your you boy know? Eric Johnson said, Bud said it's an honor to share the ring with EJ. Yeah, his damn energy changed. My boy Hector Hill <laughs> said, God dang. My boy Kush said, Bud is, I mean, EJ, Mr. Strawberry. Then he hey. said, Bud out here promoting the fight right now. Facts. So it, hey. it, we got to split down the middle in the chat, Uncle D. It's split oh, yeah, down but the that's middle. The fun, the chat, that's the fun part about it. That's why, that's why I love it because, you know, that's what I just said. You leave it open. But there's some people that, you know, they come on and be like, hey, this, that, that, boom, all negative on that person. Come back oh, with yeah. another one next week. All negative on that person. Now, people I want to know how they going to deal after that fight, or if, like my man said, who was that? Was that you, ODB, or was that knockout box? And one of y'all said, if the fight don't happen, I want to know why the motherfucking fight don't happen. And if that, that was gets knockout. out, knockout said that. I, that was I, I want that shit it, to come out. That's See, right. One thing I, like that out, I want to know how they going to run that. After, that's what I'm saying, because both sides have done it. Both yeah. sides have done it. Sit up and say, oh, yeah, man. Like, they 100% know what they're talking about. Man, I, I hey, say that's now, the, now, I, I say, I, 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 the thing. Like, I, that's one thing. Hold on, D, my bad. I'm going to let you get it. One okay. thing I like about the UK is that they do that shit kind of where they give us updates. Like, you always see Eddie Hearn. Well, we have agreed to the 60 40 split. Now it's up mm -hmm. to, now it's up to Fury. You, you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They split that shit quick, but go ahead, OD. No, it's like, um, it was since knocked out, say that shit. Yeah, he said that, but I said that shit a long fucking time ago. We don't know what the fuck is going on behind the fucking scene between Crawford and Arrow. But I oh, say I it like, yeah, I say it like, like this. I can blame both of them motherfuckers. Both no of them. Shit. Yeah, not Crawford, no not Arrow. Both of them. I don't, I don't blame the fighters, man, because, hey, man, it's the promoters trying to, you know, do what's best for their business. That's what I think it's about more so than anything, but with that being said, you know, like what YB just said, <laughs> hey, I just want to see the fight, man. And I want to see how these people that push certain little narratives. That's why I always say it. YB know I came on his channel and I think I pissed a lot of people off because I'm the first one to come on here and sit up and say, man, you motherfuckers just talking and don't know this and that. And they got mad at me. Oh, I'm going to do something that. And I said, man, people tell you what the fuck they want you to go tell the people. They control the narrative. And now it seems like all of that was true. Because we were all talking about when it's going to happen and what it was. And I said, don't nobody know? Now we sit up asking the question, how much, you know, does Bud want? You know, we don't know 100%. We had numbers going all thrown out there. We had people coming on sites like they knew what was talking, like they knew what they were talking about. Oh, yeah, I promote, but um, I don't promote their fights, but uh, this and that, whatever. When you got through with it, nobody knew what the fuck they were talking about. That's why I say everybody quiet, man. That is business being healed. And if and with all due respect, it's good business because don't nobody fucking know. So they doing something right. I just don't like how long it's taking. Kingpin EJ. Hey, I mean, P, say that one more time. What you say? I couldn't hear you. Kingpin EJ. <laughs> uh oh, look. You hey. know, Peter always wrong. 
Not always. Uncle DC, Uncle DC. You actually usually right. To be honest. Uncle DC got pocket knives in his back pocket. That confirmed my win. Puro going for Earl. That confirmed my win. Hey, that's how I felt about my man Electro J. I'm saying, man, whoever Electro J picking, I'm going against him. Hey. That's my win. Hey, hey, like boxing the story. I, I be telling I him, story, right? you know, I'm going with the opposite. Hey, OD, I'm going to tell you how Puro came to me the first time when I went off on him. I told him, I said, Shakur going to beat the dog shit out of Ortiz. I said, he'd be lucky to win two rounds. You mean Vardez? I mean Vardez. No, Ortiz? No. I don't talk? think we ever had that debate. Man, listen, I'm going to tell you, y'all told me I was crazy. I said, he's not going to be able to get nowhere near Shakur. And everybody told me because I said, um, um, um. Valdez. 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 You mean Valdez? Oscar Valdez, my bad. Oscar Valdez. Listen, and everybody told me they're they going to tell me, they're going to give me the rundown. Valdez is a gold medalist. Shakur is a silver medalist. What are you talking about? That's not going to be an easy fight. I said, man, styles make fights. Everybody thought I was Valdez crazy. in the middle. I said, yeah, Valdez, he will be Valdez lucky to medal. win. I said, he'll be lucky to win two rounds. Everybody told me I was crazy. And when the fight was over, I said, he ain't won a goddamn round. You know who the I mean, I only get, I only, I only get about this three. I only, I only get about this. I only get, but I only went, I only get about this three rounds. But look at me, one. Three. I only get three. You just gave him a round because he was just being so bad. No, he got his ass beat. He got his ass beat. But like I say, I and that night, bro, I took two hundred because I went for Stevenson. So. I ain't tripping about. <laughs> I got my green I mean, baby. Style, I and I said it before the fight. I said, "Don't write Valdez out after this fight." I said, "It's just the style of the fight. That's not a good style matchup. It's not a good style matchup. He ain't, he ain't going nowhere. Everybody writing them off. They mad nah, at him." Uh. No, nah, no, nah. I knew Shakur was going to be there. I like Oscar Valdez. I, I, knew, Shaku, I, knew, Shaku, I knew Shakur was going to be there. They're writing them off, though. They mad at him because he lost. No, you but thought that Shakur was going to beat his ass. No, was Shakur was going to beat his ass. I fucking knew the beginning. I even told YB. Nobody knows I the future. Every... Who? I said nobody knows the future. So you thought. Oh, I knew Shakur the fucking future. Just, I knew the future. I knew the future. I knew the future. I knew the future and I took some fucking money. That's the only thing that fucking matters. I, I, I mean, come on, bro. We all knew that was going to happen. Oh boy, Shakur. Yeah, Shakur is a great fighter, man. But Valdez did his. Valdez came in there to win. He didn't come in there to touch no. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Valdez just took. I mean, Valdez just took. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask P. Let me ask P. This question though. What make, What makes you think that Oscar Valdez didn't try to win? Because he didn't fight like he normally does, to be honest. But I mean, like, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I mean, at the end of the day, that's an excuse. Like, I mean, Shakur won. Shakur won. That's just it. You know. But like, literally, like. I don't know. I, I actually don't know what was going on with Valdez, man. I mean, he did, he had a more spirited effort versus Conte Sal. And Conte Sal was beating his ass, not Shakur. Mm. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Uh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I'm going to tell y'all the truth, though. Mm. They cool as fucking person, though, Valdez and, and Ruby Gilbert. Chill. They some good. They some cool mofos in person. And they actually, after that fight, they actually hang together and shit. That's what's crazy. You see Bichel and, um, and Valdez kicking it. That shit crazy. My man, my man Jeff mm -hmm. says he lost to the better fighter in the story. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> and at the end of the day, he lost. So so, you know, it is what it is. I mean, uh, Valdez still a great fighter, man. He'd be back. Like, I like him. I think Valdez could fight. I just think, you know. Certain styles have just got your number for that day, you know what I mean? And it's just what it is. He just had a bad like just look Shakur is a hard fighter to look good against though. Yeah, Shakur Shakur knows how to fight, man. That's what I'm saying. He's very skilled. You gonna you know, a good fight for him probably would be somebody like Isaac Cruz. Maybe he can try to walk through, but if you're gonna be in there with Shakur, it's gonna be tough, man. And that chess in that chess match, it's gonna be tough. I mean, Shakur, bro, Shakur, I mean, like, I see Haney go to 147, Teal, Ryan, all those guys still going to 147. I think Shakur beats all them dudes. Shakur beats all them dudes? To me. I mean, I, I mean, do I, know, I, do I, know, too, I know, 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 I know Shakur will be Ryan. Easy. I think he'd be right. I think he'd be Ryan. Hey, you're biased. Hey, y'all got to remember too, man. The difference between him not only is he real, real good like them, 
He's the oddball in the whole bunch. Him and Tank, they left-handed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Tank, that's a big deal right there, Uncle D. Them left hand, them left. They don't hand understand hand. that. They don't understand yeah. that. Yeah. That is a problem. That's why Earl's a damn problem. He's yeah, that's why. And that's why Butter problem because he can switch and be left handed. Yeah, that left hand shit is a problem in boxing when them dudes can fight real, real good. Laura, left handed. Yeah, yeah. Loma, Loma, Loma. Yeah. Ooh, chick. Ooh, and chick. Saying, now you got some left handers that don't have a real, real high skill level, but the ones who really are good boxers. Think about all your champions right now. Usi. Um, Shakur. Yeah, Shakur. I mean, you got Earl. Shit, Bud, Man. pretty much. You might as well Man, call Bud is. as a left. Yeah, Man. all these dudes. Canelo. That is hard to deal with. It's hard no, to Canelo deal with. Canelo ain't no Southpaw. Oh, you're talking about Southpaw. Uh, oh, Southpaw. It's, it's your boy Zerto. Zerto. It's hard to deal with. Zerto. Zerto. Zerto lefty. Zerto. Uh, I'm just saying it's hard to deal with. Dave a lot Morel of fighters don't want to get in there. Yeah, Dave Morrell. That's Jojo a whole Diaz. other challenge. That's a yep. whole other challenge Dimitri when you Andre jump in there with a left hand. Billy, Billy, Billy Joe, Billy Joe. Yup. Ain't Seabass uh, Fondora lefty? He ain't a champ, but. I think so. Yeah, Seabass. Uh, I'm just Eric saying Lee. it's a lot of top fighters that throw you off with that. Yeah, Loma was a champion. He was a southpaw. That's probably what happened like, to your boy, it, Jose, it was, <laughs> your boy Jose Vargas with Zapata. He ain't never seen one of them left hands. <laughs> oh, sweet. Yeah, he got fucked up. That's right. Hey, that's that was what I'm saying. Job. Hey, who may, who may wear, who was the first fighter that may wear the fire in the southpaw? It was Sab Judo or somebody else. Mm, I don't know, but Sam uh, gave him problems for a couple of rounds, too. Yeah, exactly. He didn't have a fucking couple of rounds. Good luck, Castillo. Every fighter Zab fought, man. Castillo, right. Zab didn't have a team. No, Castillo's a left-handed. Zab didn't have a team. That's why he was having a problem. Castillo, I think, is orthodox. Castillo, I think, is orthodox. Castillo, Jose Luis Castillo. Castillo's orthodox. Stream right-handed. Hey, when yeah. you think about it, Zab no, might not I think it was Sam Judah. Judah. He called everybody. No, 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 no. It was Castillo. He fought Chop Chop before he fought Zab. He fought Chop Chop Corley, who was a lefty, too. Yeah, hey, he, he fought Castillo he before oh, Chop Chop. Yeah, hey, uh, Chop Chop called him, too. Chop Chop busted yeah, his nose. No, nah, but Floyd went in there trying to go to war with Chop. But I'm, nah, I'm I, saying that left hand, that's all I'm saying. It's different. It's a different style that you have to adjust to. You, you're so comfortable. We're fighting a right-hander, and when somebody got a whole different side that's strong on the other side, that's some different body language you got to switch up. Like, that's all I'm saying. If you ain't used to it, that's why some of them fighters, that's that's why I say if you can handpick your fights and you're going to get paid, you know, that's the business of boxing, man. Ain't nobody trying to take no L, and that's why I say you got to make them dudes fight, man. Either get rid of some of these belts or we got to start, you know, making these dudes unify the division, one or the other. You say you the best, show us. My man, my man Armando, as y'all think it's right that AJ gets a shot at Fury before Usyk. Well, Fury said he was fighting in December, uh, Mondo, and the fact that uh, that Usyk said he needed some time to heal and spend time with his family. Uh, his injury, AJ, yeah. was, AJ was AJ. He said he healed some old injuries. AJ was willing to uh, to accept it at this time. So for me, I'm not upset at it. No, um, I mean I feel like it's a big fight. And look, anytime there's a big fight, whether there's Undisputed on the line or not, bro. I'm not gonna be against it. And, and he didn't say he's still not gonna fight Usyk. He said after he beats this dosser, he gonna run to Usyk and beat that dosser. That's what he said. So for me, <laughs> Uncle D, that's what he said. I'm gonna whoop this dos out, this shit house, and then I'm gonna go to the next shit house. Hey man, hey, I like Fury, man. Fury talk that <laughs> shit, don't he? Yeah, that's what he said, Uncle D. He said both of them are shit house dossers. And, um, I beat, I beat both of those dossers on the same night. That's what he said. That's what he. <laughs> Hey, yeah, he a dog. I like, I like Fury, man. You gotta like. Uh oh. Let me, let me zoom in on Piro picture. Hey, my man, my man Kush says EJ going straight to the emergency room after about seven rounds. Hope Fury smoke. It's been a long. In fact, Hawker Mustang, my man, hit the like button. Yeah, man. I don't know, Uncle D. So, what's your what's your take on that? Do you think AJ can get Fury a good fight or no? Nah? You you just got Fury icing him. Uh. It could be interesting. It could be interesting because he bring he brings a different type of fight. But I think for me, you know how I feel about AJ. AJ AJ got a um, he got a Ferrari. He he's a Ferrari car with a with a Lummo engine. He gonna run out of gas. When he run out of <laughs> gas, he done. <laughs> Dan, that was a hell of a. Uh... 
Yeah, that's, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much what he is. On the outside, he everything what you want in the box. When that yeah, tank drive I mean, in the heart, the heart in the tank, I just can't. I, I could never bet with nobody like that. That's me though. I ain't I ain't got nothing against the dude. I think I think he's a big time talent, but his thing is not, and I think that's what he don't understand. <laughs> he's trying to figure out a way to outbox these guys. No, man. You got to get your big ass in condition the way you just fucking manhandle these motherfuckers and walk through them. You big enough to do that. You can hurt people. He does hurt people, but it ain't enough in the tank to finish nobody. And right. I can't bet on that. Until he showed me otherwise. That's why I said before the fight, I would never bet on him. I said, man, how you going to bet on him? I took heat for that one, too. You just hold on. I can't see no big dude holding on, man. You don't know how to hold. You don't know how to put Usyk in the headlock big as you is. That's how I'm looking at it. So for me, I don't know. My boy says, my boy says, Tank beats everybody at 35. Tank is that Tank versus Ryan? That's the fight. That's the fight I want to see. Tank I can't argue. Ryan. I can't argue with that, Ruben. I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know about that 135 class. I don't know who will win. Devin, him, Loma. It's a lot of stuff in there. Until I see the fights, I can't say nothing. I mean, man, the 135 was stacked like two years ago. Now, everybody moving up. I mean, some of them don't I mean, want hey. that heat. It's a lot of heat in there. Some of them went to 140. Some of them I mean, don't want that heat, but it ain't nothing no better at 140. They think it's sweet up there. Oh, you, you know which fight we, we're forgetting, guys? Jojo versus Camarón. Cepeda. That shit on October 29th, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a bad fight. It's, no, I think that's, that's it. No. No, you got to, yeah, it got moved to October 29th. Yeah. See, OD, I call them fights good fights, but I call them B plus fights that fight. can never be A. That's a good They can fight. never be back to A level for me. Mm. I've seen what I've seen. I know who the top dog is because I've seen him in the ring with one of them top dogs, and that didn't go well. i seen Cambosa in the ring with that top dog. That didn't go well. i seen Tank in the ring with a lot of them guys. It didn't go well. You know, you, mean you understand only, what I'm saying? I, I mean, only why I say Cruz. I mean, only what only what I say Cruz. I mean, yeah, I said Cruz give him a fucking fight, but Tank beat him with one fucking hand. Yeah, I mean, him. Cruz a tough dude, though. Everybody can't take them punches like Cruz. That's what separate Cruz from everybody. And he a dog, yeah. and he can punch too. I, I, like I tell people, okay, okay, Haney, Shakur, if they fight against Cruz, yeah, they're the favorites. But one fucking punch can change the whole fucking fight. That's why Cruz my man bro, Ruben. Yeah, because you never, because uh, you never know what fucking fight, what they, what fight. Because I see Pitbull bro will be a fucking problem for anybody, for anybody. I don't give a damn what people say. Because yeah, he had a good fight against Tank. I. I think he broke Tank's hand when, when he was throwing that uppercut and he blocked it. That's what hand that's what fucking Tank fucked up his hand or when he hit him in the head. I don't know, but he tough as shit. I know that. <laughs> yeah. So let's say Haney and and Haney fights against Cruz. Does Haney's gonna fucking feel that pressure for the 12 but fucking rounds? He, but here's the thing though, and see that that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Because what if Haney is able to, for example, keep that jab on him because he's got longer uh -huh. distance. He's got longer distance yeah. than Tank. See, that's the difference. But that's why, like my man Ruben said, he said Tanks beat everybody at 135. I can't say he can't. I don't think he really going to beat Devin Haney because I just think a good boxer, if they know – what hand is the knockout punch? And it ain't like Tank knocking these motherfuckers out with the right hand. It's that fucking left hand, that uppercut. I can avoid yeah. that bitch. So if you get in there with a great fighter like a Shakur and you think that's the only punch you're going to fucking need, that ain't going to work. Not against nope. Shakur and, and Devin. I don't think. But I can't say that he won't beat him because if he catch the ass, it's good night. You know, so that's good. why I say he yeah. might be a fantasy fight anyway, man. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm just saying, my man saying D tanks beat everybody at 135. I'm saying, I don't know. No, but like I'm saying, like I'm saying, yeah, like Haney, like Haney will fucking, like, if, yeah, like you wait, Haney has to be smart what tank is going to throw him. Like you say, if, like, 
if Haney's throwing the jab. But what happened if Tanks takes the jab away for Haney? He struggled with rolling the jab. I think away. he'll struggle with Devin. Facts. I think he'll struggle no, with Devin if he struggled with rolling jab and a they're, fucking they're, right. I mean, but look what happened. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. Do you, do you think Devin, Danny didn't struggle, think, man? That's some narrative. But do you think Devin would ever run forward against Tank? He would never have to do no, that. He he's won't. He won't. No, he won't. He won't. No, he won't. He won't. So he that won't. jab he could won't. be a problem. That's what I'm saying. It's a 12 round fight. Yeah. I just gotta survive. I don't think. Okay, but I'm just saying. Okay, okay, it. okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But what will happen if fucking Tank takes the jab away? Their fighters they took jab. Their fucking jabs away. Like Jojo, 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 took Jojo, Jojo took his jab away. Od, Jojo took his jab away. Yeah, Jojo, Jojo took his fucking jab away. Yeah, Jojo, Jojo yeah, gave him a good paid, fucking fight. He paid lefty, bro. Pay. Lefty, that's the key, bro. Tank is a lefty, bro. Exactly. I'm telling you, Tank Once again, that's another thing. I forgot yeah. about that. That's another thing. That was the big and thing. Jojo just hit it on the head because he kept catching him with the overhand. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. And what's gonna happen when Tank catches him with the overhand? Fucking takes the jab away. <laughs> that's gonna be a fucking problem. Yep. Yeah. Hey, like and I said, he, that's something he has to do. Though I'm not saying he can't do it. By no means, I don't know. That's why I want to see these guys fight. But I'm just saying, remember this: it's the same thing people are sitting up saying right now about Loma. If Devin fight, I can say that same thing. Well, guess what? Um, Tia Fimo got some serious fucking power. I don't know if Devin yeah. got that same power to keep Loma. Back like that for six fucking rounds and just sit on it. He might feel that shit. He might feel that shit and say, "Oh, that shit ain't that bad," and go crazy. Because when he go crazy on somebody, he one of the most best conditioned athletes I ever seen in the world. Who oh, Tio or, or Loma? Loma, 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 oh, Loma, Loma, oh, hell yeah. seen Loma, take, Loma, fucking throwing like he in the first round in the twelve round. That's a fact. No, Loma, Loma, and, and, and one thing, yeah, and one thing, and Haney having fought a fire like Loma, who Loma. No, but it all depends. Use. That's what I'm saying. Can I, know, I, I know, I know, I know, I know what you mean. I know it all depends. Yeah, but Loma, you know how Loma fights like fucking. Uh, how I can say, like how he uses laterals. Mm hmm. And duck under and get up underneath you. And duck and guns. Yeah. And Haney, you hurt. He ain't gonna do that though. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know how but Haney. Hurt, you know how, it could be a problem. Okay. You know how Haney likes to clinch, right? And Loma, he can take that clinch away. Like, oh, this motherfucker trying to clinch me. Pa! Like, real quick, throw my fucking jab. Well, pa! Throw my fucking right hook. And, and he uses lateral movements and shit like that. Haney's gonna have a fucking problem. Haney. I think it'll be a good fight. It will be a good fight. But that, in that fight, what I see about Loma, Loma struggle with fighters that come forward. I seen that shit. So Haney has to be the aggressor, the aggressor against Loma. But I, Haney's gonna try to box him. But fucking Loma knows how to fucking fight a fucking fighter that knows how to box. Look what he know, did man. to Gary Russell. Look what he did to Gary Russell. Yeah, but that's a different. That's a whole Who's different arm nothing? length. That's a whole too. different arm length, though. I'm just saying. What happened, YB? Nah, I'm just reading the comment. My boy could say I like Fury, but I can't support no duck shit. I don't think he ducking Usyk. Usyk say he's not ready right now. I, I see it. Yeah, Usyk said he yeah, he's injured. He's injured. Well, yeah, I don't know how yeah, he's, he's ducking injured. Usyk if Usyk injured. Nah, bro. Like, he's injured. Fight, he's still injured. Be, like, AJ will still be ready for Usyk when he come back from injury and still fight for undisputed yeah. until he until he say I'm not fighting Usyk. Period. And 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 nah, that's the only reason why he back to fight Usyk. I believe he was coming back to fight Usyk in December. He said, "Come on, Dosser." Oh, see, you know, like Fury said, I'll beat you, Dawson. So I don't understand it. He'll never that let that a middleweight beat him. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me talk to my brother, Chris. I can't call nobody a duck if I don't see how the shit played out. Like, if now, if you say he came back to beat AJ, then he don't then he don't fight Usyk when Usyk ready, then then that's a problem. But if he don't do that, I can't call it a duck before it happened. That's premeditated. I ain't, I ain't going to. Right, look. That's premeditated murder Man, talk. Bro. I think to be honest, I, to be honest, to be honest, I think Usyk is probably the one of the best fighters, if not number one and number two. Him and Crawford. Yeah, but that's just a bad fight with Fury anyway. Fury is a good boxer, and he's way, way too big. And right. I just can't see him beating, you know, Fury. Man, I love him to death. I think he's, like I said, number one and number two, and it doesn't define him if he loses because that's just. Yeah. That's going above and beyond for me. And I respect Usyk like that. But I just don't think that's a good fight for him. 
dude just too big, man. Shit, he's he's a fucking damn near seven footer, man. And he can box. Six nine, six six nine. He's a big six, ass nine dude. Foot, big he, and the thing dude. is, the thing is, it's not just about him being a good boxer. He he's he's that dude. What I just got through telling y'all about, I don't like. He a dirty mm-hmm. motherfucker. He gonna put you in the headlock. He gonna lean yes. on you. He gonna smother you. He gonna hit you on that, the way. That's why. That, 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 do look, I don't like you retirement either. But I, I remember Floyd retiring. I remember it's a lot of fighters that retire and shit, bro. I don't, I don't take none of that. I don't take none of that shit seriously. I knew Fury wasn't fucking retired. <laughs> like I knew he wasn't retired. Like it's just, it, it is what it is. But yo, I'm gonna wrap this one up, man. We about to, we about to get at it tomorrow. Y'all check out the replay. Bye. Dennis Douglas sure. was at the top. My boy, Dennis uh, Douglas. Douglas. shout out to Dennis Douglas, man. Shout out to Uncle D. Shout out to my boy P. Shout out to my man O D. Houston, Texas hey, in the building. Shout out, shout out to YB, man. Thanks for letting us come on. Hey, man, y'all ain't done it yet. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button too on your way out. Hey, Yo, thanks right, for man. letting me come on. Always YB. Hey, Uncle D, had a good man, time man, with you, O D. Hey, I got, I got uh, to get you brother. back too. Man. You know, we gonna see. But oh, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, all right, team. All right, guys. Yeah, but I'm out. All right, then. See you guys later. Peace. Hey, hey Ken, check out my boy Dennis Douglas, bro. He he's a good person, good personality. It was awesome, man. Kane's Dre, y'all check out my boy Dennis Douglas, rocking the bucket hat and everything in the beginning, bro. Talking his shit while he training the class. I gotta support Douglas for still coming through, even though he told me that he might not be able to. So yeah, man, y'all gotta let my boy Dougie know, man. That you know, shout out to him. I'm gonna change the title because people didn't know. People thought he canceled, so I changed the title. He surprised me. So yeah, the element of surprise is a mofo. But Dennis Douglas, my homie, good dude, good good guy. Yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, Hawker. Yeah, Hawker Fury. Fury is not. I, I like Usyk too, man. It ain't nothing against Usyk. Usyk one of my favorites too. I don't really have a pick in that fight. I just think Fury can win. But yeah, shout out to my boy Dennis Douglas, man. Still showing up after he said he had to take over a class, which he really was doing while he was on here, and uh, being being very transparent with the questions, being open. Uh, so yeah, man, we look to have have these guys back. Some of these, there's gonna be a lot more boxers coming through. My friends, uh, just learning, working with these guys, starting to learn the business a little bit, working with the guys behind the scenes, meeting these great fighters, meet, seeing what it takes to be a boxer pro, seeing what they put their bodies through. Man, it's a different type of game. So, shout out to everybody, man. My boy Kush the Great, yes sir. Usyk, 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 Fury, 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 Haney, Haney, Haney. Nah, shout out to my boy Loma. Shout out to Tio, Kingpin, Tio. Hey, Kush, we sending your boy, we sending, bo- hey, tell your boy, bud, get ready, man. I see you bulking up. He know what time it is. It's going to be a dog fight. And that boy, Kingpin EJ, ready. But uh, shout out to my boy Canelo this week, uh, Triple G. Yeah, can't wait for that fight. Ammo Williams, Mark Castro, Diego Pacheco, uh, the, the Texas grown boy, Bam Rodriguez. You know I'm rocking with him. So, yeah, it's, it, man, look, great fights, great cards. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to boxing. But, yeah, thanks y'all for tuning in.